Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. How are we all doing? I'm not going to click through all the comments just because there's so many of you here and I don't want to get distracted and end up with loads of chatty time because I know quite a few of us here have got a lot of things we want to get done today. So it won't be like Jade intense, but it'll be reasonably intense. Let's bring this today, if that's all right with everyone. But how are y'all doing, girls? Y'all all right? Y'all all right? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to be an actual silence. <laughs> that of like, everybody was like, nah, fair to meddling. <laughs> yeah, I was not joking with the silent stream. <laughs> uh, what's everyone's plans today? Let's start with that, why don't we? Reading. I had a couple days of not reading after saying to myself, I'm going to read 100 pages a day this week, and then I didn't read for two days at all. So I've got the rest of this to finish off hopefully today and then i need to get through tristan strong as well yes there yes. you go that was perfect timing I bet <laughs> you feel like anything tried. that was brilliant anyone else what's everyone else up to i'm also reading um i need i've got i want to finish two more books for my vlog this week but <laughs> i haven't started one of them and i've got 140 pages of dark harmony left so nice. I guess I'm just going to see how far I get. I should be able to do this. Speaking okay. of, we did do it again. I did it again. Can we do this all day? <laughs> um, I do like Dark Harmony very much at the minute. It's um, it's real good, but I think I left it on a cliffhanger kind of thing, and I think the shit is about to hit the fan. Nice. Nice. Anyone else? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably read as well. I'm probably going to read uh, The Willful Princess and The Piebald Prince before picking up Fool's Errand. I could also keep listening to The Travelling Cat Chronicles and do some bullet journaling, but I'm scared of tears, especially live tears. Yeah. Um, I also have a video I should probably finish editing, but like I kind of want to read. So Nice. Thank you very much, and thank you for being here. Um, I am also, sorry, just to interrupt, also reading this today. Um, I'm mixing up between Jade City and Meet Cute Diary. I always forget I'm in a smaller square at this point. Um, and Meet Cute Diary, so I'm mixing up between these two, so twinning. Um, Leanne, what are you up to? Uh, cat wrangling. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much that and only that. Can you just not, please? <laughs> 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 Bye. Um, I have this pile of books that I don't want to read. Um, so, no. But I have to read them all for one reason or another. Like, it's on my TBR. I am really enjoying it, but like, I'm just, you know, when you're in that mood where you're like, I should read, but also maybe not. No. Uh, this for a secret vlog and this, which everybody loves and I am not loving. Um, so. <laughs> So, like, I'm going to make myself read something out of there and then I'm going to come back and complain about it. That's my plan. Cool. <laughs> Sorry <for> that. <laughs> Ashley, what are you up to? Video stuff <laughs> is yeah. probably the easiest way to describe. Just, like, filming various things. So I've already done one and a half videos today. I'm going to do the other one and a half to add up to three. <laughs> nice. Um, hopefully by the time I'm done. So Cool. Damn you, overachieving people! <laughs> yeah, it couldn't be me. Person <laughs> studying. Um, this question is really good, actually, because I was just saying to the girls before we came on that I am enjoying this, but I think I've been reading so much adult, whether it be romance or um, fantasy, recently that to dive back into a YA, I've kind of just gone, uh, no, I don't like it anymore. It's I'm just struggling with the YA side of things. I'm just I'm going to finish it. It's going to be great, and I'm I've no doubt I'm going to really enjoy it. But just in general, I'm probably going to tend to stay away from YA contemporary these days because I just think it. I'm probably got past that point. To be mm -hmm. fair, now so it's taken me a while to get to that point. But yeah, I've been hitting the adult so hard recently that to dive <laughs> back in, I just. <laughs> I told her somebody else said it. <laughs> me at that point. <laughs> um, so for reading JT, nice. How are you finding it, Steph? I love that book so much. Um, I'm 111 pages in, 110 pages in, I'm up to chapter 12. I did some Googling yesterday because 
there isn't like a glossary, which I feel like this could benefit from in the back of the book mm. that could explain what each of the different things mean. So like the fist yeah. and the fingers and the all those different things. Because I've done some Googling and I'm like, okay, this is making way more sense now. So yeah. I'm enjoying it a bit more now. I've done a little bit of Googling to try and figure out the names of both of the different types of, you know, the different um, clans. Yeah. And then also what each of the different types of people are if that makes sense so like the halo the fingers the fist things like that it makes way more sense now but i'm enjoying it so far it's going really good which i'm really surprised about because i honestly didn't think i was gonna like it naturally yeah, one of my patrons so. is desperately like desperate for me to read that book <clears throat> and like every time there's a chat or anything it's like but have you read it yet and i'm like no. <laughs> so, so that's, that's i wouldn't read really too much yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about it being confusing because I was really confused for the first half. But it's one of those where you just got to go with it, and by the second half, you'll you'll get it. You'll pick yeah. up relevant. So I won't worry too much about that. But. Nice. And emotions. There's emotions. Just be wary of that. Yeah, just be ready for it. <laughs> I've seen a few people in the comments actually saying that the reading site, which reading Gemini, my favorite book of the entire Illuminate File series. I love it. Yes, there is only Gemini. I mean, we love them all, but there is only Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> Reading Lady at Midnight by Missy Claire, but I'm struggling. I've never struggled with the books before until this one. Mm. Fair. Very mixed about it. It feels a little artificial even for YA. Yeah, it does feel a little bit, I don't know, like quite fake. I think that's kind of the point, though. That's the whole premise of it is that... Um, Basically, a trans teenager, Noah, has started writing a meet cute diary, but the diary entries are fake and he gets called out for it by a troll. And then he has to try and save the meet cute diary. That's like the whole point in it. And there's some fake dating in it and a uh, love triangle at some point, I think, as well. So, um, but I think the whole point is it in, in it is that it's meant to be a little bit fake because that's the whole point of the meet cute diary. So, I don't know. Do get it though. <laughs> I just saw Rachel say, reading a quarter silver flame. Should I be warned about the face mark? Uh, yes. This is your warning. Face mark incoming. Prepare yourself. <laughs> also, reading Gemini halfway through. Nice. Yes, it is. <laughs> Three times. Three times. That's got to be a right no. Three times. Three times. Um, reading Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by JLA and ready for the plot to kick off. Dice. I still need to read that. Um, Thornbirds. I've never even heard of it. No. Mm -mm. no. Never it's been heard huge. Of it. I have never tackled it because I think it's huge. I look this up. Good morning, William. Welcome. Actually, it's the afternoon for us. It's, uh, I keep forgetting. It's 10 past one. <laughs> Don't have with my day so far. Um, hoping to get at least halfway through Akata. We are here to help. Going to be yeah, Thornbirds is like 700 pages, so that can just stay on my never to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the face up. How can you not like Gemini? Oh my God, Jade, explain yourself. <laughs> I'm going to opt for not explaining myself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking no further questions at this time. <laughs> to be fair, I rated Gemma lower than Illumina. Oh, really? Mm. Nice. I suppose it depends on which of the like two main characters you like the best as well. So like, I love Hannah and Nick, so that's why I really... Well, I love just in general love Nick, to be fair. So that's why I um, really like that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I also, guess I that there's like, you know, a body count that you can literally count down from the first page. That that does keep me entertained. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it just me or did each of those books have the same plot though? No, they do. They yeah. Was my yeah. Thing with Gemini was, I read Illumin, I really enjoyed it. Read Gemini, I got like 200 pages in. I was like, I've read this before. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. That's and I've had the same fair. thought. That's fair. Each time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you're wrong, but it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know whether I've just been called old or some people have just been called really young. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how to take that. Yeah, Leanne's heard of it and she's only a couple of years older than myself. So 
I don't. I mean, it is. It is from like 1970. It's not exactly a a, a recent release. What is I'm it? Looking, I'm looking at the synopsis now, and the reason mm-hmm. I probably haven't heard of it is because the I would never read it. What is it at all? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not like exactly a, fantastical. <laughs> it's like a, it seems to be like a family romantic saga. Oh god, no! Yeah, it's oh, like no. a, it's about um, Australian settlers, isn't it? I think maybe, maybe okay. I mean. So it could be an age thing, but also a genre thing as well. So mm-hmm. it's also like, historical. It's yeah, a lot of history. beginning of the twentieth century. So yeah, no. Um, is it an sheep station. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's about farmers. <laughs> That's the short synopsis of it. It's about sheep farmers. The end. Oh, somebody just said eighties TV. Maybe yeah, was that's show. true. It was a it was an eighties TV show. Definitely showing my age. Involving now. a very handsome priest and someone called Maggie in a love life spanning many decades. Okay, oh, you lost me at handsome priest. <laughs> Like, can't say it's grabbing my attention. handsome, but also priest. So, and what is the point? Mm. Flea bag energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Yeah, I'm right. Take it back. <laughs> I'm 22 and I've heard of it. Again, it could be a genre thing. A lot of us are like fantasy readers and don't read historical. So, again, I don't read historical. But... Or I guess, like, I my mom still watch watches like 70s and 80s tv shows in preference to like current ones so it could be one of those ones that's been like absorbed into my back brain at some point along with like mash yeah. and inspector morse yeah <laughs> see i've seen a lot of old tv but not that nice i got the bind up as well because uh it was way cheaper than buying them also probably <laughs> yeah they're expensive <laughs> they are worth every penny <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long do we want to sprint for for the first sprint? Should we sprint a quarter past? How long do you want to go for? 45 minutes. Oh, there we go. What? Jade's like, go hard or go home. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got shit to do. It's yes. true. It's true. I really, really need to get on it. I'm supposed to do like a 48 hour readathon this weekend. And I've read, in fact, I managed to be fair to myself. I managed to get to page 33 of this this morning. So. Um, I just was so distracted yesterday. I really wanted to be halfway through JT today and I got so distracted. I'm not even going to get into it because I was so fucking angry. Ashley can tell you I was just ranting for most of the day to Ashley on voice notes, but I was really fucking angry. Um, but yeah, I got nothing done because I was really distracted. So, uh, it's... Well, I have picked one of the books that I do not want to read. So however long you guys like. <laughs> Nice. I think I'm going to start off with JT actually and then use me cute diary to break this up a little bit. Mm. I keep I'm in a smaller square and I need to remember my square is small. <laughs> we have reduced you. I'm like over here. The struggles. Are you are you checking this Jade? Yeah. Mhm. I was just in a really bad mood. DPD were meant to be picking some boxes up yesterday, gave me a time frame of nine hours between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., came at quarter to five and refused to take the boxes. I'd been in all day, couldn't shower, couldn't leave the house, couldn't do anything. And you know when you've got an appointment uh, later on in the day and then you're dis- you can't get anything done mm-hmm. until you've had that appointment? Mm-hmm. Couldn't do fucking anything. So I was raging all day. Really. Why won't they take them? Um, they said it was for Ziffy. So obviously you just need to write the code number on top and that's it. They said I needed to have some barcodes on the boxes, which I don't. DPD are meant to supply them. But I didn't. Oh, you know they're supposed to come with the stickers for them? Yeah, I didn't know that at the time. So I've emailed if it. They've arranged for them to come and pick them up on Thursday next week. So I have to stay in all day again on Thursday next week. So (laughs) if they refuse, I'm going to say, you know what? You can take them and sort it out of the fucking office because I'm not doing this again. I've had enough now. (laughs) DPD. Rachel just said. DPD are the worst, but yeah. like, oh no, they're not a patch on Hermes. Um, Hermes keep coming to my Hermes. door, giving me my stack of parcels, and every single time they give me a parcel for somebody else who lives on the next street. Like, loads of different houses, I just get other people's mail, and then I have to go and deliver other people's mail because they've given it to me. 
That's ridiculous. <laughs> My thing with tell me was I was at home, back door was open. This was back when I lived at mum's. Back door was open. The dogs were roaming around in the garden. But you weren't in? But no, no, I wasn't in. So he threw the parcel over the back gate and I just saw this. It was fairy loot. Just saw it fly into the garden and <laughs> landed a pile of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You know what's really weird? My Hermes delivery guy is fantastic. And, and if I'm not in, he knows to leave my parcel in the garage. So he goes and he, he like said thanks to me last time I saw him because I was in when he delivered it last. And he went, I very rarely see you, but thanks for leaving the door open in the garage so I can leave your parcel and it doesn't get wet and damaged. And I was like, you're very welcome, but thanks for leaving it in there. You're great. Thank you. <laughs> it's the same guy every time. I'm still in a better feud over DPD during like the height of the pepperoni. Uh, when nobody knew anything or how transmissible anything is. Um, Lovely Wife Helen was extremely high risk and they would come and leave uh, packages on the doorstep and would refuse to walk six steps backwards to take the picture. So they were literally like at the door and I'm like, but you can just stand in my garden there, six steps backwards. And every time they came, we had like a blazing argument on the front lawn and I'm just like, I, I like how I said front lawn, like I live in a stately home <laughs> in the front garden. And they just, mm, eventually one of them, I made them take a parcel back because I was just like, I'm not doing this today. Just take it away. Ridiculous. Good morning. Okay. Shall we sprint? Yeah, now that we've all been salty and got that out of our system. Yeah, I, I realised that once I'd said it, I was a little bit... Um, being a bit coy with my story so i should probably tell the actual story so that was a very brief version the Angela's box of delivery people yeah the three hour version ashley got was entirely different you're all very well <laughs> Um, as I get through my job, like this is what my job is here. And if I get <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ashley's <laughs> fully triggered. <laughs> okay, four or five minutes. Let's go.
Hello, hello. I realized too late that I'd forgotten to put the alarm on loud. <laughs> so I'll, I'll redo that and put the alarm on next time. But the how do we all look good? The, the soft, yeah. gentle home is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. This is amazing. Woohoo! Congratulations. Well done. How did we all do? I managed 40 pages of JT. So I'm on page 150 now. I've got 10 pages left of my book. Nice. I read 20 pages, but I also made sure that I've got a thumbnail picture for my vlog because I always forget and then I have to dip around <laughs> and try and keep one together from something. Um, and I also caught up on my messages on Instagram. Nice. Mm -hmm. I read 48 pages. This is really good. This is really good. Nice. Loving it. Jade is counting. She is. I have no idea because I can't remember exactly where I was when I started because obviously I read this morning and I, it's all blurred into one. I don't know. I can't tell. I read a chunk. Jade read a chunk. Oh, she read. <laughs> she read. <laughs> Bonus. I'm having a good time. That's what I'm <laughs> Yay. How'd you do, Smash? Uh, I filmed a video, I was on a time crunch because I only had 20 minutes exactly on my memory card, so I was like, right, but we'll film in this in 20 minutes, and I did. <laughs> but I've just spent, because that was full from like everything I've been filming over the past couple of days, so I've just been like sorting it all into different folders and getting all the thumbnails, because there's like seven videos worth of thumbnails on there, and I take like 20 photos for one thumbnail, so I'm like, I need to sort out which ones are actually going to be used. <laughs> Neil <laughs> panic is real. Nice. You love the progress. I noticed this conversation going on and I was like, oh my God, there's someone from Bolton. Hello. Not another one. How, hi, <laughs> Boltonian. I live in Wigan, but I'm from Bolton. Becca is also from Bolton, so hey. <laughs> and I have lived in Wigan and I now live in Yorkshire. There we go. All over the place. Well bean. Hey? She's a well-travelled bean. She is. <laughs> she is. So many comments. I won't get to them all. My apologies. Don't take offense if I don't click on your comments. There's just so many of you. And because um, there's quite a few of us, my thing is quite laggy. So uh, my apologies. And also, we would end up being here for like a million years if I clicked on everything. So um how are we all finding our books are we all enjoying them yes if we're reading yeah. Good. this is making mm -hmm. horse riding sexy <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must be like half, halfway through that. it's tiny no i'm only like 50 pages in wow but yeah sexy horse riding happening wow <laughs> nice never been a horse girl but you know <laughs> could change <laughs> Oh no, who let you in? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, poor Hamilton. I literally spent half of that sprint petting various cats as they appeared and disappeared. So. <laughs> Your turn. The dream, honestly. Various cats. Yes. I said, to um, be fair, at least you have like four that keep circulating through. Becca just has the one that's like, attention always, thank you. <laughs> it properly stalks me. <laughs> a I've dissertation got... sorry a dissertation in the uk is just the final assignment that you hand in for your degree it's like I think the most points account towards is it a thesis a thesis in america i think yeah mm. oh, <laughs> so, cute. <laughs> so cutely making biscuits and i've got this one sitting here like no <laughs> <laughs> Staring into my soul. Staring <laughs> into my soul. Oh my god, so many comments. He's turned into such a mama's boy, though. Oh my god, yeah. Like gradually, he's, he's still just just gradually creeping closer to me, which is quite alarming because <laughs> you see how close he gets now. I'm worried about what's going to happen over the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cody. What are you reading? Oh, The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince by Robin Hobb, which is like a novella that goes before Fool's Errand and like after Farsia, I think. Nice. 
And Jane. Do you like the storytelling of it? Like the way it's told, I think it's really fun. Yeah, it's been told by like a minstrel kind of um, reflecting back on, yeah, it's hard to talk about yeah. because obviously it kind of yeah. gives sense for Farsia, but yeah, interesting. I thought it was going to be further back than it actually is, like the wit stuff. I thought that that would be like A-OK -okay in these times for some reason, but it's still like taboo, so it's quite interesting. That's one of the titles that I still, yeah. like, I have to think about when I'm saying it, because for some reason I was <laughs> the Willful Prince and the Pineapple Princess, and I'm like, it's the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I love when you do this. I think A Good Girl's Guide to Murder was my favourite from you. <laughs> I just love it when you try and say that. I just, I can't. I have to think uh, so much. Like, why does my brain do this? <laughs> Ashley recreated that entire conversation for me on voice note and still managed to screw it up in the voice <laughs> note while she was telling me what she screwed up last time. Can't do it. Maybe it's just long titles. I'm just like, we're just going to like throw all the words together and see what comes out. <laughs> Jade, what are you reading for the people asking? Master of Sorrows. There you go. By Justin Cool. Recommended by this one. Top notch recommendation. I'm having a fantastic time. Nice. We have another Boltonian in the chat. <laughs> Becca, you look like a mood. Mm. That's, Jade, yeah. You'll be glad to hear, Jade, that Steph saved my reading experience. <laughs> Yay. I'm so proud of your reading experience. Because I was feeling quite not slumpy with it, but I was just like, I'm in the mood to literally just inhale every story that's ever been published on this earth and this wasn't doing it quick enough for me. So I was just like, I don't know if I'm vibing with it. I don't know if I should put it down and pick it back up later. I don't know what to do with it. Um, but then I started the audiobook last night and the audiobook is incredible. One of the characters is Scottish, which is- Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Why is he Scottish? I love it. And the rest of them are Northern. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I listened to the audiobook for the first one and I was like, oh, they made him Scottish. That's great. I, I wanted to do the audiobooks on reread, but I read them all physically the first time. But I'm so glad because it's my favourite book ever. It's yeah. just because I realised how reliant on dialogue it is, not because it's like overly dialogue, but just because the plot tends to be done through dialogue in terms of they're figuring stuff out, they're having conversations together. Yeah. And also the humour is done through dialogue, so it's like the sarky stuff, and it, it just works in audio. Like, it just... Mm. So, yeah, I'm excited now. Oh, <laughs> a message for you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck. You are going to smash it, and also happy birthday for Monday. Yay! <sighs> Oh, it keeps jumping. My mum spotted Hamilton and asked if it was our cat. <laughs> um, lots and lots of messages. Right, if you're asking what Leanne's reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Leanne is reading um, The End of a Memoir. So it's called My Name is Why. And it's, uh, it's by a poet who was... Um, he was born in a children's home in the 60s and uh, his mum was perfectly capable of taking care of him but because he was illegit uh, 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 because he was illegitimate and she was Ethiopian and here like on a visa they took him away and kept him in children's homes and refused to give him back to his mum even though she was perfectly capable of looking after him and so it's his experience of um reading his records back so it's really it's written in a really strange way so half of it is let me find a decent page half of it is like his records as he's reading through his files to find out what happened to him and then the other half of it's his memories and it's i like it don't get me wrong it's i mean as much as you can like a, somebody's horrific experience um but it's written in a really sort of dry way because you're reading his files and there's not a lot of his thoughts in between it and i would have preferred it to be the other way around but it's still good i still like it nice jade no i have not it's on the tbr for this month i think it will either be one for next week or i might start it next week or read it and do the thing i've got nice is it's that coming. Morgan Rhodes, yeah? Yeah. I've read the first one. Didn't love. <laughs> no, it was in my TBR vet video. And I was like, oh, if YA TBR vet comes up on TBR, see, this is going to get its time because I've had it for ages. Mm -hmm. 
YA Tibiave came up in Tibia Pursuit the next time I played. So you had no choice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to see what you think of it because there's some like a, there was a bit of a yikes, and I'm like, I want to see a reaction to the yikes. <laughs> well, you'll get the reaction to the yikes. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Nice. I am, very much. Yes, I'm having a fantastic time. I want to read the sequel immediately and I haven't even finished this one yet. Wow, impressive. I so much like it. I, see, I saw this question, I've been thinking about it since it popped up. I mean, surely yours would just oh. be trees, Ashley. Be I feel like I need some, like a specific magical plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not where I thought that was going. <laughs> Like a tree of life thing. Mm. I would mine be, yeah, mine would be a cat and a cup of tea, probably. A cat with a cup of tea, yes. <laughs> no, I don't know what mine would be. Something stabby. Something stabby, stabby. Something yes. stabby for you. Yeah. Something stabby. <laughs> hmm? A goblin. <laughs> a goblin with a knife. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Orange. <laughs> An orange, but also like leaning towards maybe a fox, but like a really red toned fox sort of thing. Maybe. I was thinking polar bear for you because polar bear. <laughs> An Arctic fox, maybe. Yeah. An Arctic <laughs> fox, but then oh, where's the orange? orange? Where's the orange? You have an orange background with an Arctic fox. An Arctic fox in an orange tree. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific. And then there's me that was like, you can breathe fire. <laughs> fire breathing Arctic fox. That, That'd that be so cool. cool. Yes. <laughs> I love it when people are like, what, so which fantasy kingdom would you visit? If you could, and I'm like, none of them because bitch, I would die. <laughs> like, I mean, like, fair. okay, I'm dead now. I can no longer see anything. I'm dead. <laughs> like, no. I'm just I like, can we do it? I don't want to go there. Can we do it after the war that takes part in every book? <laughs> yes. <laughs> go after. Yes. Um, I am enjoying Dark Harmony as much as the first two. But it's different to the first one. I think the first one's still my favourite, but like it's very romance heavy and doesn't have a lot of plot. There's more plot in the others. Yeah, I found that sort of. How is Jake, Jade? Bored. He's been complaining for days because he doesn't know what to play. So he just sits and stares at his computer screen at this point. There's is nothing good about that. So Has he not got weekend week? No, he's given up with FIFA. Makes him um, angry. So he stopped playing. Um, Massey has too. He's given up. Yeah. He just says, where's his computer screen? Like, I don't know what to play. I've got no one to play with. I don't know what to do. You should get him onto Football Manager. Massey lives for Football Manager. Is that a wise idea? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing him on Twitter asking for people playing Apex, and I'm like... He really oh. wants to play Apex, but he hates playing it by himself because he Jake gets matched friend. with shitters or shit kids or... Where's Fraser? Fraser's like fallen off the face of the planet at the minute. No idea where he's gone. Oh, great. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, he's bored. That's that. <laughs> I forgot there was a prologue in, in The Ravenous. Oh, honestly. And my short term memory is horrendous. It really is. <laughs> I can't even remember this. Mine would be a Mark the Hedgehog flag. <laughs> then we can arrange that. Would you like a Mark the Hedgehog flag? <laughs> <laughs> There's a comment further down that's like, yeah, but maybe he wouldn't be like dead dead. Yeah, but I, with my luck, I'd then just be the reanimated corpse. <laughs> you know, like, like, I'm not a lucky person. I'm not going to do well in a fantasy world. Is this a thing from the Truth Which Live show? That's what I was thinking. You have dead and you have dead dead and then it's these people who are acting oh, dead. God. <laughs> <laughs> what is dead? Oh. <laughs> yeah. like, that. that was the concept. <laughs> Sanderson or Hob? I feel like you're asking a great group of people here, and I'm not sure what the answer is going to be because I'm going to say Sanderson. I haven't read Hob. Same. Hob. Sanderson. Hob. 
I'd say Sanderson because it's easier Sanderson. to get into than Hob because like Assassin's Apprentice took me like a hundred pages to get into, whereas because Miss Bond we want much... to read a lot of books and the pacing in Hob is a lot slower. Yes, hundred percent agree. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I'm just more of a like Hob has been more consistently good ratings. Yeah. Like, I haven't read yeah, the same. I'm the other way around. Sanderson's mm -hmm. got more consistently higher ratings than Hob has for me. I love them both with my whole heart and soul. Can I still have got more high ratings from me? But that's just because I've read more Sanderson. So, like, a four star Sanderson book is still, it would be the equivalent of like giving this book like eight stars. Yeah. Like four <laughs> stars. Yeah. So. yeah. I quite like the fact with Hob that you get a full, like, deep dive character exploration over like 800 pages, and then it's like, plot. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Nice. Shall we sprint again for forty-five minutes? And it's in a minute. I've missed the quarter past now, so we, we are where we are with it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just wanted to show off how cute is this mug. I got it from a Patreon last yesterday. Oh, I have that mug. Isn't it yeah, cute? That mug, so cute. It's my favourite mug. It's no, like the really perfect fun. size, right? For a yeah, it's so cute. I don't drink coffee or tea i drink fruit tea and i haven't got any at the moment so i've got pepsi max in it so you know, <laughs> there we are speaking of gifts from patrons if like because this didn't come with a note but i got these today and i don't know who sent them to me Ooh. oh that's beautiful uh zaf mm. <laughs> is it zaf yeah right here <laughs> Cool. <laughs> it's because somebody actually no i've got another one somebody sent me this and i i messaged Zaf and was like is this you and she said no so now the one that is Zaf, i thought yeah okay right <laughs> this is a little hammy oh, ham on his butt oh, dude. Oh. Holly, it's kind of creepy <laughs> <laughs> holly's in the chat thank you holly i love it it's adorable Thanks, Angel. Um, okay, but we've missed the fucking. Never mind. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> Our brand is chaos. <laughs> Literally don't care at this point, do we? Okay, I've shared the audio this time. You can all put up with the incessant beeping because I fucking hate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> forty-five minutes. Let's go.
hello, hello. Mm -hmm. oh. How did we all do? I managed 28 pages. I'm posting an Instagram picture. I finished my book. Ooh. And I'm back to the beautiful, this one. <laughs> I should be reading, like, anything else from my pile that I'm supposed to read, but I'm obsessed, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm hoping in the next room I can finish filming so I can actually sit and read. And that was like, oh, my nice. How much more have you got to go? Me? Yeah. Uh, so I'm filming the Trey chapter part of that video, and I've read two of four books, so I just need to try two more chapters. <laughs> so, and then I can actually like come in. The reason why I'm not showing me actually reading is because I keep needing to stop and be like first impressions at the camera. So. <laughs> Cameras everywhere. <laughs> I always forget how long those videos take. I'm like, oh yeah, this will be a really quick, easy video. And then I'm like three hours in and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I forgot how long these videos take. Yeah. Yes. I read 40 pages and I have 86 left, I think. Nice. Mm. I again have no idea how many pages I read, but I'm on page 415. Nice. I think you're on like 380 something. So. Your guess is as good as mine. I read words. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> words have been consumed. I got the part two. I was waiting for the pain. The pain arrived. Oh, <laughs> no. But it's good. The pain. Oh, it's good. Ten out of ten. <laughs> That's my usual review of Robin Hood, right? Pain, five stars. <laughs> I also think I may have got book meal. Oh, nice, nice. I really I'm want to open it. Will be like kitchen utensils or something. But let's see. Oh. I really want to read this. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Bish. Many, many pages being read. I am oh, is that the Griffin Gate? I like the Griffin Gate. Small but cute. Yes. Like you. <laughs> that was you embarrass me like this in public. <laughs> <laughs> you are small but cute though. Doing this very badly. This is why I don't do unboxings without like prepping everything <laughs> come on Leanne we're all waiting inept parcel <laughs> no <laughs> oh no pressure <laughs> ah is it is it books it's is cutlery it... oh no it's books oh, oh. It it is. <laughs> These might have gone on my wish list because of a certain person. However, there is no gift note, which. <laughs> I told you I had a bath this morning. <laughs> Always with the bath water. Just <laughs> scooped up a couple, <laughs> couple bottles. I'm drinking. Bath, bath water. <laughs> Pepsi Max and water. I've got a headache, so I'm trying to hydrate. Always clean. Oh, she's pretty. I've just so drank all oh. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so shiny. That's a really nice set as well. Yeah. I may have to have a butchers at those. Now do I have to catch up is the question. Yes, <laughs> is the answer. The is this answer. a vlog? Is this a vlog? Like, can we catch up? <laughs> oh, there's art in here. Oh, pretty. Oh, it's like a oh, it, right. Never mind the art. There's a there's a map. <laughs> Very nice. I'm like art's so nice, but there's a map. <laughs> I actually just um, got approved on NetGalley for Witch Shadow. 
So I'm just like, well, that's handy. Yeah, I'm yeah. refusing to even apply for it because I will not read it before release day because of which lands along. Mm. Um, yeah. thing, so there's like, no point. <laughs> I'm not like on that gully. I'm just like, yeah, what's a release date? It's fine. <laughs> It's gonna be right, so we'll get a review. <laughs> I just because I've got the paperbacks, I didn't want to have to buy it. So I was uh, like, yeah, I'm, gonna point. Yeah. I'm gonna like I'm gonna get it on ebook anyway, so I might as well just see if they'll give it me. <laughs> In eighty five pages, I will be caught up on a hundred pages a day. Nice. And I plan on reading way more than that today, so it should be okay. Nice. <laughs> Smashing it. What colour should I pay for that? I'm now sitting here like uh, I could. <laughs> I could. Pete okay. Sharon Jaw Black. Both. Both. <laughs> I said thank you, twinning. There's, there's your answer. Both. Vicky's <laughs> <laughs> got the box set. True switch box set for free. Oh, Cancel wow. the order after. That'll be more post. I'll be right back. <laughs> There's a map. Look, imposter. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, oh, Kitty. Hi. <laughs> oh, can, can I snap a quick picture so I can send Make it? Make it cat full screen. Make it just the cat. Yeah, look at mine. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this without Kitty. Don't leave. <laughs> hey, Kitty. <laughs> I don't know whether it's me on right now, I can't tell. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Did a bad thing happen? <laughs> Cheeky little imposter. <laughs> okay, this might be another book. I love that. I looked away for two minutes and Leanne turned into a cat. <laughs> <laughs> If I could have a superpower, can I have that one? <laughs> Ooh, it's a pre-order and eye drops, which is less exciting. <laughs> Very nice. I'm excited. Oh, look, it's pretty. Ooh, fancy. What? Hey. The cat was in the Well, way. we have had a good in between sprints. <laughs> like, oh, oh. <laughs> I won't bother filming the book call it's here now. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. Oh, what is the one only red book on your shelf that silently judges you every time you walk by? Son of Shadow. The, world. the Poppy that. War. Mm. Read it, Leah. <laughs> see, see, that's not a silent judgment, Steph. That's just judgment. <laughs> I will put a voice to the silent judgment. <laughs> Maybe the name of the wind. Mm. Oh, oh no, yeah. I refuse to read the next one until he gives us a date for writing the last one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, me and Jade are like, yeah, same. It's either name of the wind or American Gods for me. Mm. They both just oh. sit there and stare at me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine's I have the world or um, Java Crombie. I haven't tried that yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any other one besides Son of Shadows. Like, there probably is, but that one I've literally been saying for over two years now. I'm going to read this one. Well, but Ash was just like, I feel no guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how long you sit there. <laughs> Fail guilt? It's because usually it would be um, well of a sanction, but I read it now. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's quarter past three in the afternoon. Okay. The coffee wall is so good. Mm -hmm. I know. Then with the growing season. Get it red. <laughs> also, get it red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that one. I DNF'd it. Fiery. Yes. I got hey. three. Got 250 pages in, and I was like, I've got no, I can't tell you a single thing about this book because <laughs> I'm marrying someone for a political reason. There was 15 pages of characters in the back, and I was like, no, not today. <laughs> no. I'm excited when I see an appendix. <laughs> oh. 
It's just I, I wouldn't mind if the names were easy, but I couldn't remember a single name off the top of my head. And I was like, I know there's an appendix in the back, but there's 15 pages worth. And I, I just can't. I can't. There's a teenage Leanne in me that's saying, like, I shall make charts. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. <laughs> Read it. Mm -hmm. is the same as you, Becca. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and Vish are scarily the same person. <laughs> so many. Read it. Just gonna go through and click on the ones I've read and be like, <laughs> okay, is the one you're one all of the others. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> uh, somebody's like, mine is Lord of the Rings. I'll sum it up for you. Tree, 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 waterfall, grass, tree, orc, tree, tree, hobbit, food, tree. There you go. You don't need to read it anymore. It's done. Ash is going to tell you to read it. I DNF'd it. No one surprised at all. But <laughs> Becca's going to tell you to read it. <laughs> read it. <laughs> Yes, your Kindle absolutely counts. My oldest book is probably yes. on my Kindle as opposed to my shelf. So yeah. Kendall, we've had this conversation. The Kindle is the Kindle is my book graveyard, but it still counts. <laughs> Read them. All of them. Now. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I there was a dragon. <laughs> a dragon. Um, and there was a marriage of political convenience. But other than that, I have 250 pages. Not a Scooby-Doo what happened and I couldn't tell you a single name of one of the characters. I was like, 250 pages is a pretty decent chunk to get through before I make my decision whether or not I'm going to DNF it. So I just did it. I love that it's like, women in dragons, orange tree, that's it, didn't like it. And I'm just like, just take the women in dragons and I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> Mine is Tog series. I keep meaning to read Arrow Fire. Maybe do it for the thing a thon. Do it. Yeah. Do it. To do it. Everybody's options in the comments right now. Read them for do the thing a <laughs> Yeah. I just oh. want to make Ashley say do the thing a thon a hundred times until she, it doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any hashtag I've ever like been part of or created makes sense. <laughs> <Just like> <laughs> Nonsensical all the time. <laughs> I think I'm going to read sequels for the Do the Thing at Thong because, like, uh, yeah. it's one of my goals, and I'm just forever starting new series. I need to continue with them. Yeah, yeah. I will mean, catch up with or finish series. So, I like finish the finish series. The Thanks, Ashley. Seems to like have infected the rest of me for me because <laughs> even though it's a week. I seem to have picked up all of the sequels to all of the series. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, how did this happen? Usually I read none and now I'm just like, we have, where, where is all of my books? We have this sequel, we have the sequel to this on the go. We've got so many different sequels that I'm reading in the run up to do the thing about. And I'm like, I'm okay. just picturing you sitting in a sea of books, unable <laughs> to make your way back to humanity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, loves it. Seven, eight. Eight books is what I'm sat in the middle of. <laughs> Do you think of is on the 24th and it runs for a week? 24th, right? Yep, 24th to the 30th. Nice. Yes. Girl might not know what month it is, but girl knows what day. <laughs> <laughs> um. I just hear Hamilton crying in the background, and I'm like, what is your problem? <laughs> Are you okay, sir? <laughs> Mummy. The dedication. Wow. Oh, I wow. wish. Yeah. I tried to time it um, so you UK folks at least have bank holiday like after. <laughs> yeah. True. I'm away that week, so I'm going to try and read what I can in the week, but then focus it on the weekend and run it into Monday, bank holiday Monday a little bit, I think, and kind of make a weekend reading vlog out of it. But yeah, I'm excited. There's so many people who seem to think it's a month long reading fun, and I'm like, I'm not going to stop you from doing that, but it's not. Because <laughs> <laughs> they keep sharing stuff on Twitter, and I'm like, I'm not going to retweet it because then people are going to be confused and think it is a month long. So I'm just like, I'm sorry, but no. Ashley's sitting there like yeah. overachievers. 
I want none of this. <laughs> Um, shall we sprint again for another 45 minutes, you know, as soon as it's 21 minutes past now, again. Mm -hmm. Consistency. Yeah. Um, cool. Let's go.
Hello, hello. Hello. How did we all do? Forty-two pages, so I have forty-four left. Nice. Well, I'm now doing Jade's method of calculation. I consumed words. <laughs> they were good. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I'm now on page 450. So nice. I'm just over 100 pages left, but I had to stop for like the last 10 minutes of that because my back is killing me. No. I realised I was like really hunching to read it, like getting closer and closer to the book. <laughs> and that was like... Cody, how do you do, my love? Uh, don't know, but I have like 30 pages left, so I'm almost done. Wow. Hey. Nice. Racing through. Really cool. Yeah. Good. I managed 26 pages. I think I'm going to put this down actually and swap it out for Meet Cute Diary. I'm starting to get distracted um, and a little bit sleepy. So I need to switch up my pace a little bit. And because um, this is like really heavy on the politics. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I need to take it in bites, I think. Um, so I'm going to switch it up in the next sprint, I think. And he read Meet Cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. But lots and lots of messages. We have. I also ordered a hardback copy of this. Nice. Ooh, yay. That's one, good. my copy is kind of fucked. I did have to get at it with a pair of scissors because. Mine's like that as well. It had like a bit that wasn't cut off outside. Yeah, it was all like folded up and I couldn't yeah. the prologue because it was all stuck together. Yeah. So I had to cut it with a pair of scissors. And it's that horrible like laminated paperback where like this is all like peeled. peeled. You've peeled it. <laughs> um, so I just bought a hardback. Yay. That's the only thing I hate about indies because I really like how heavy and matte they are, but they always have the peely thing on the outside. Yeah. yeah. I hate it. And I, I love Mac's so bad. I love Mac covers as well, but I do hate how they will show oh. fingerprints everywhere. I hate them. Uh, they just end up looking dead mucky. Yep. It winds I me feel up. Like they're pulling my fingers when I'm holding them. I don't know. Yeah. Hello to Aaron and also to yeah. Jade. Hello. Hello. Welcome. And hello oh, it's Ashley. She was reappeared. How are you doing, my love? They finished filming. Yes. How did that film made take a plot twist? <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, God. I want spoilers. Afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for Friday's video, is all I'm seeing. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. I'm guessing that the plot twist is that she really loves the dinosaur book so much so that she couldn't stop reading it. <laughs> <laughs> no, finish the entire book. <laughs> oh, this is, why would you give us this option? Queen Slayer is Seb, right? And Bands of Morning is Brandy. I'm going Bands of Morning. Is really good. Oh, I'm going to go Seb. Obviously, maybe not. Obviously, I don't know. Bands of Morning is the last one in the second trilogy, right? I'm going to go Bands of Morning just because it's the last one in a trilogy. It's really good. Plot <laughs> twist. No one saw that coming. Wait yeah. a minute. It's not. It's not because there's going to be a fourth book. Yeah, it's the, third, it's the last one that's been out. Yeah. So it's not quite as satisfying. Oh. Well, in that case, I retract my statement. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca came in with the logistics out like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> No. I didn't know. I only knew it was Second Mistborn because I only have the alloy, alloy of Law, which I can't even say. So it was only when you said it was the last one that I realised. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> so many pages being read. She is on the floor. Yeah. I constantly wonder how you manage this. Does it not fuck you back up? Because I can't. I can't even just sit on the floor for ten minutes. Like it hurts. No, it's not that you read like that. I can't support myself like with my arms. It really hurts here. So I'm just like, yeah. 
like that. <laughs> no, it's my wrist more than anything with the weight of my head. But um, the only thing that hurts a little bit is, <laughs> is my ribs where like they're pressing against the floor, but like I just shift so that I'm leaning on a different rib. No, I stand there lying on the floor. By one. <laughs> my natural position's like thrown over the arm of the chair, like like crouched like this mm -hmm. over a thing. But you can't do that in sprints. So I'm I'm abusing the uppy downy desk. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, we will several more hours. I I I assume. I don't I don't. I've like still got a fuck ton of reading to do. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Hello, welcome. Um, is that tape in the corner? It was. Like, he's now over there. If you can see. Sofa cushions, just like. <laughs> That's a serious face of judgment. We should just turn this into cat cam. Yeah. So cute. Oh, we can oh. stare each other out. All the black cats. Markle and Tibbs. Somebody did just say how many black cats are there. <laughs> <laughs> Tibbs is grey, not black, but you can't really tell. Mm. If you put in a black cat, you can tell. <laughs> Sadly, I threw Hamilton outside because of his crying, so he will not be joining us right now. <laughs> like, be gone. Marco and Esme's over there, curled up like a pretzel. No. And what are we think is because they look like eyes. Say that again? Pause, I think. Oh, is it a pause? I think so. The white dots. Yeah, it looks like eyes, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I think it's yeah. a pause. <laughs> 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 this girl wake her up. <laughs> no, she oh, won't wake up. Oh my god! Oh, wow! Kitties, Kitties everywhere. Yeah, oh. and she'll be there when I throw her back. Too. That's She's like mother, please. <laughs> I want to be on McNabbis. McNabbis somewhere prowling and being a boy. <laughs> oh, Fitz. I need Fitz. I think Fitz is camped out in the living room with the dogs because he's like, there's silence. Fitz is a big um, tabby like ginger it. blob. <laughs> nice. I love Fitz. <laughs> yeah, Fitz is basically just you. <laughs> Much larger. I just want to bear hug him because he's so huge. <laughs> <laughs> huge and angry at all of the world, all the time. I love him already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Has anyone got favourite indie self-published books? I would agree with Becca, but also, <laughs> but also the author Josie Jaffrey. I think all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited if you're in the UK, and she writes adult vampire books. They're fantastic, slightly pornographic. Um, I love them. That's how we like them. Yeah. Say, are there any other kind of vampires? <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> Can't remember the last time I read a book that wasn't slightly pornographic. Um, <laughs> I'd uh, recommend Saviour's Champion by Jenna Moresi. That was self published. It was good. There you go. The Bridge Kingdom. Bridge Kingdom's supposed to be real good, yeah. It is. Mm. Fortuna's one. Mm hmm. Fortuna. <laughs> I don't think I have one off the top of my head. That's really bad. The pressure. I'm trying to think of something that's not fantasy romance. When like I know there's something, but I can't like the title. Katie Robert, just romance, no fantasy. Well, kind of no, mm, just romance. Kate Robert. <laughs> the just best book I've ever read. Kate Robert. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> I know. I have nothing. If anyone in the comments has any suggestions, drop them so that we can. Oh, no, I lied. Queen's Sweet by Alona Andrews. It's like urban fantasy. Yeah. There's there's vampires. There's porn. Great. But Kindle Unlimited crashes as we all race there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> It's like, I love how Ashley said she's trying to think of something that isn't fantasy romance, and I managed to think of one, but it's still pornographic. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely have a theme here. Yes. We're I don't have a cat. Neither does Ashley. 
Oh, Jade. Can you have this one? Oh, you. Can you have this one? Yeah. I promise, by the way, I don't I don't collect cuddly toys. Those um those are the dogs, honest. I'm hiding from his brothers so that the rest of them don't rip them to pieces. <laughs> Aaron shouting about this one. I can't wait to read that. Mm. I have it there. You can't see that. Adding to wish list, been meaning to add it to wish list for a while. <laughs> oh, so, actually, I need mean, to add it to wish list. I don't think I've got it. Yeah. But it's on my Goodreads TBR. But there's always every book that was ever published, to be honest. <laughs> it's going to be terrible for my TBR. It just adds so much. The only reason I bought this is because it made Aaron ugly cry. That's, that's it. Fair. That's a solid reason. <laughs> Elise Cover. Yeah. I can't specifically recommend it because everyone just started it, but there is a Greek myth retelling by Rosie Hewitt called Medusa, which, I mean, guess who it's about. <laughs> That's also so cool. No steam. I mean, you're all out of luck. You're asking the wrong people at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have, I, I don't know any books without steam at the moment. So, Leanne, did you finish Chloe Brown? No, I'm like, hold on. Let me dig into my pile of books, Becca. This did you finish it? it? I'm yeah. on what did you page... Think? I gave it five stars. Yes! 255, so I'm on chapter 17, so I've only got that much to go. But I'm listening to it on audiobook alongside this, which is slowing me down because the audio the audiobook is adorable. He's got a Yorkshire accent. He's so cute. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that I'm not listening to it because I feel like that was <laughs> I'm thinking about my boyfriend, how's he fuck? <laughs> he was like noping our way out of the book and our relationship. <laughs> Just to answer Rachel's question, Emma Hamley's self published. All of her many books are self published. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I realised as well, talking about Chloe Brown. That when I finished the obelisk there, I actually completed a book from the TBR jar, which means that I do have a book token and I could buy it. Yes, yes do it. it. It's just so good. I mean, myself, Leanne, and Simon, and well, Steph kind of reads similar books to me in some regards, but like I read very different books to Simon, and Leanne reads very different books to me, and we all really liked it. Yes. So. Yeah, I think it's one I like as well. I don't yeah, know yeah. that stuff, but I feel like it's an it one that I will like. I think out of all three of them, you will prefer um, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, out of the three of them. That's my favourite out of the three because I am literally in love with Danny and Zaf. Zaf is my new book boyfriend. He kicks Reese way out of the park. Whoa. Whoa. I fucking love <laughs> Zaf. I am Bold obsessed. statements here. Bold <laughs> statements. Obsessed. Um, he's an ex-rugby player. He's literally everything I love in a guy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm a Wiganer, so like that kind of does do it for me. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> it's like and then Jay's coming in the comments there. Jay's coming with Jade. Don't think you'd like either. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Fair. I don't necessarily think you will like them, but if you're gonna like any of them, I think it will be Danny Brown. Out of all of them. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> Rude. I was I was obsessed with her. I thought she was fantastic. Good judgment. I know. It's funny but I like, it's like I want to try contemporary more that isn't just like the hard hitting stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like, but I don't know what it is I like, but any that have caught my attention is usually ones that Becca's reading. So I'm just like, maybe I'll just copy it. Well, I mean, I'm just so influential. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I think you will love Chloe because control is her drug of choice, and I feel like this is a mood. <laughs> I really like, yeah, yeah, because she makes lists to do, to do everything. She's like yes. very structured, and I'm like, I really like this. Tali is currently starting a new series. She's writing a new series at the moment that actually encompasses, from the third book, Eve Brown, we come across a guy in this that encompasses him and his two sisters. So we're going to get a new series from them three of a similar sort of thing of the Brown sister series, but it's going to be the Montrose series. And I am living for it because it's going to be a brother and then two sisters. And again, we're going to have like a queer book and it's going to be fantastic. And I am so excited 
Honestly, when I started reading it, I was like, this is a contemporary version of every Tessa Dare book ever. And so, like, if anybody wants, like, historical romance, Tessa Dare is just Talia Hibbert, but with frocks <laughs> and balls and more cats. Something that surprised me about Chloe Brown is that the humour actually reminded me a lot of the George and Nicholson series. Yes! It's so, like, kind of bizarre the humour is sometimes, like, it just comes yes. out of nowhere and can be kind of ridiculous, and it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I really appreciated that, because that's, like, one of my favourite series ever. Aaron's got teeth. Uh, teeth? Beef. That's <laughs> cross between <laughs> beef <laughs> and Talia. <laughs> Aaron's got teeth. Um, so... She doesn't make sure we're continuing, which is sad. Ooh. Has anyone read The Wheel of Time? No. Me too. I also need motivation to pick it up. I'm pretty sure the majority of us here have spent a long time avoiding, actively avoiding reading Wheel of Time. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's scary. Yeah. yeah. Um, somebody, who was it? Was it? It's the comment above that, Steph. Emma said that. They're excited to try the new series, Neon Gods. That's the one that I said that Ashley should read because she doesn't want to read the Disney one that I'm reading. But that one's all gods. <laughs> and I think Hercules and probably Hades. I Definitely Hercules from Wicked Villains goes into that as still Hercules, but on a Greek god kind of scale as opposed to the Disney side of things. <laughs> <laughs> Not even just the middle grade reader, just the I don't read contemporary in any capacity. <laughs> a couple of uh, <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> hits Aaron hits. I was every. waiting for that to happen. Apart, apparently, from Tessa Dare. So we do agree on something. <laughs> Nice. Okay, shall we read again for another 45 minutes? I can actually read this time. Yeah! I might go for a walk around the house and read because my back is protesting. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a good shout. I am going to bin this shamefully large pile of packaging at my feet that you just heard go. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll read. <laughs> nice. Okie dokie. Let's go for another 45.
Hello. 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 How did we all do? I managed 35 pages and I, although I don't know if I will pick this kind of young, very young YA up in future, um, it just reads so fucking fast. Like, it's a breath of fresh air considering I've been reading nothing but adult fantasy for like the last four weeks. So um, I'll, I'll give it that and I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, 45 pages, which is pretty good. I read an indeterminate amount, received a wife home and Ashley manifested a fits. Nice. <laughs> the face of judgment. <laughs> So cute. He's so angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh he's my insides all the time. <laughs> How did you do, Ashley? Uh I think I read like 34 pages or so, but I was having a great time. Like I was so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you were gonna come back, no more than I. <laughs> Nice. Ears. <laughs> I see a fluffer. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, Bella. She's very fluffy. <laughs> I only read like 12 pages that time, but I did make dinner as well. And did you have a nice walk around the house? I'm eating it. <laughs> what did you make? <laughs> Creamy chicken and garlic pasta stuff. Mm. Just easy, quick. Throw it in a pot. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, How you do this? Nice. Yay. So good. So good. We now know the origins of like the superstition of the wit, which is really good to know how that's died. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. It hurt though, but then all Robin Hobbs books hurt. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have you picked anything else up or did you just finish that in uh, time? For I just finished that, but I think I'm going to. Have some more pain next. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Are you starting it? You haven't started it yet, have you? No, I've been I've been procrastinating because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about a quarter of the way through it. Pain. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm starting it on Monday, and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Becca. How do you do? Is she She's still muted? Ignoring <laughs> us. Uh, I couldn't because of the comment. I couldn't see that she was still muted. Fair enough. <laughs> it. Uh, she obviously doesn't keep us on loud like you do, Jay. She can't multitask with listening. I mean, <laughs> are we all enjoying what we're reading? Yes, I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, Steph. I know you hate it, but I'm obsessed. No, it's not that I hate it. It's honestly, you know what it is? It's just the writing style. I don't like flowery writing. So that's yeah. all it is. Otherwise, I think it's something that I would potentially enjoy. Again, though, the historical element of it might throw me out, I think, which is the thing that's done it for Jade, essentially. So, um, but otherwise, I don't necessarily hate the book. I just don't like flowery writing, which sucks ass, really, because there's a lot of yeah. books out there that I'm kind of not reading because of that. <laughs> it was the history that did it for me. I would just, I can't do all that history. I can see Jude's eyes glazing like she's <laughs> <literally just>, no. <laughs> This, on the other hand, is phenomenal. Yeah, I've just hit part I'm four. So <laughs> I'm a chapter into part four, and I'm so. Oh, it's the last part. Hmm. What's How happening? much have you got left? How many pages have you got left? I'm making you do mass, that was mean. <laughs> I'll take an approximate. <laughs> Hello. 109. Nice. So close. Are you meant to finish it today or tomorrow? Meant to finish it today, yeah. Nice. But I'm ahead of Aaron, so it's fine. <laughs> Winner. Winner. Uh, Becca, how are you doing? I've just finished my book. Nice. Boy. Yes, I did. Good. It was is very good. One in the series, or is it? No, it's the last one. Nice. Well, finally like, finished it. You know, I started reading that last April or May, I think. Yeah, I picked it up because of you and finished um, it. Did I finish it this year or last? 
everyone picked it up because of me and has already finished it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. I mean, continue to like, <laughs> I like so how Beck is like, oh, I've been reading it since it's like last April and I'm thinking about all of the series that are staring at me from my shelves mm -hmm. that I've been reading for years. Yes. <laughs> years. Someone else getting mm. Future Witches. Collection of short essays about disability and intersectionality. How did I say that word? With race, gender, and sexuality. It sounds boring, but it's so good. What's the title of said book? Is that not it? Disability Visibility? <laughs> oh. <no. laughs> Sorry. I'm a dumbass. There's the title. You're welcome. But you managed to say intersectionality. I did. <laughs> which is, you know. Take the winds where they are. Take the <laughs> Finished a uni assignment. That one. Need more Desmond Flynn. Same. That's why I'm sad now because, like, the the way I simp for Desmond Flynn is like ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. More love for once in future, which is mm -hmm. also much love for everybody that's like subscribed to me during these sprints. Thank you very much. Cute. <laughs> Sorry, I was being a dumbass. Ignore me. <laughs> <sighs> I did. I loved it. I finished it. Leave it. It was very, very good. Nice. Really recommend. It was great. Uh, but I would say middle grade books or romance. Heartstopper. Heartstopper is fantastic. Show. House in the Civilian Sea. House in the Cerulean oh. Sea. Yes, ignore everything I said. House in the Cerulean Sea or Heartstopper, one hundred percent. God tier. Oh, if you want a laugh, the lightning struck heart. Mm, yes, and Nevermore too. It's great. <laughs> 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 the lightning feeling, struck heart. Nevermore. If you're feeling yes. too sad to read, then watch New Girl because that always does it for me. <laughs> Parks and Rec for me. Oh no, nah, New Girl for me. <laughs> I'm just like I have no suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's like, what is happiness? <laughs> oh, and Kings of the Wild as well. Oh, like yay. <laughs> I ordered it because of Jade, though, so really the commission should go to Jade. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was on my wish list in the first place. I'm really sorry if anyone can hear my stomach. It was clearly way hungrier than I thought it was because it's... <laughs> Yeah, but did really you have enjoying lunch? this? Did you have lunch? I had a slice of toast. Okay, that's like that's like lunch minus. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this is a really early time for you to be having your dinner. You usually don't have your dinner till like seven ish. <laughs> Eight, nine. <laughs> yeah. Not as late as her, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is well early for you. It's because we haven't eaten today. So like Yeah. Yeah. I am covering your dinner though. As soon as you said pasta, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm having burgers today, I think. But Curtis is making them, so yay. Nice. <laughs> She's trying to convince lovely wife Helen to let me have a chippy. Um. Mm. I'm trying to have not to have another takeaway, but well, we had one last night. And I'm like, I can't go two in a row. Can I? One in a week. I've been doing really well. Of course, you can. You can go two in a week. Do it. <laughs> um, oh. I actually don't know any. Does anybody have any suggestions? No. Mm -mm. Might be better off trying to Google. Yes. Hi. Can you come say hi? Okay. So everybody can bully you into letting Hello. me have a chippy tea. Hi. hi. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> no, I think that's, I think that's <laughs> very fair. No. Everybody in the comments can, can make you let me get chips. Get a chippy tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not want the food in the fridge to have? What have you got against chips? Mm -hmm. Everything, <laughs> everything, because Scottish chips are apparently nothing like English chips. Oh, I wouldn't say that. 
So I, I think it's my memory of English chips that I'm remembering and thinking they're wonderful, mm. but I don't think that's actually reality anymore. <laughs> so you know, yeah, I miss scraps with a vengeance. Like I really wish we had scraps as well. Gone. No, and people oh, think it's no. gross, but I'm like, it's I just don't think it's gross. <laughs> Neither, I do think it's gross, and I don't have them, but I know that everybody loves scraps. I love scraps. I love that they think that's gross, but everything is deep fried. <laughs> pizzas up here. Like what the hell? Like, the whole pizzas and pizzas. Mars bars. Yes. Yeah. Don't get it. But so hold on though. You are stopping me from getting chips because of your distant, vague memory of a possible chip that you may have had in your past. Just a singular one. No, I think I think that was what I heard. No, no, we were just talking about the comparison of the two. That wasn't the reasons for not having it. No, I'm sure that was what I heard. No, <laughs> I think there should be fish and chips. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> we stand. Yes, a chippy do. Shop no, it. I want chippy too. Yeah, no, I want to like me. I want a bad Maybe sausage. We can have a chippy tea. We can have a chippy party. That's what it turns into. Now I want chips too. Okay, okay. Have have you fun. Bye bye. Bye, Helen. <laughs> and then the potato is a good potato. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> it's my desert island food. Just give me potatoes. <laughs> I am not sure right now what I will be reading next. Okay, I have uh, messages to read. So, yeah, I will be reading messages next. Sorry, I'm just being weird for no reason. <laughs> no change there, then. <laughs> Very vague. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, as we watch Becca just crumpling in the corner. <laughs> it's just that question was really unexpected. Essentially, I might be reading something that I'm not supposed to say that I'm reading. Um, um, oh, okay. so, yeah. It's for a thing. Mm. Okay. We haven't said that in a while. It's for a thing. For a thing. I don't think <laughs> 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 we just disintegrated. <laughs> Crumple under pressure, okay. Struggles. <laughs> I can only deceive you when I'm prepared. Like <laughs> 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 the chat support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Over here having to remember that chips are fries. Yeah. <laughs> chips and fries are different. Chips and fries are different. Mm. In the UK they are, but in the in the States in Canada, chips are crisps. Mm. I would be so confused if I asked for fries and you gave me something that was like chonky. Yeah. Yes. This is wrong. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that my function. <laughs> um, on that bombshell, shall we read again for another 45 minutes? And Becca can I can manage it without my function. <laughs> I'm going to go Billy Helen and then I'll reset back. the router, Becca. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go.
Hello. Who have we lost? Leah. Yeah. She's gone having a food. I'm literally about to go do the same. My food's ready. Okay. Cool beans. So, I, I may be back later. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Okay. Just jump in. Bye. 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 And then there were four. I also ordered a chippy. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Leanne, I noticed that Leanne did end up getting her chippy in the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where was it? Ordering chippy has been achieved. <laughs> yeah, has to be done. She won. Um, how did we all do? I think I read about um, 50 pages or so, but nice. I've hit the halfway point, but it looks like I've read more. Like that doesn't look like mm. halfway. So I'm like, what? <laughs> nice. I uh, spent a good 10 to 15 minutes discussing with Massey what we wanted from the chippy. <laughs> and then I procrastinated for another 10 minutes on picking this up by scrolling <laughs> on my phone. And now I have picked it up and I am 18 pages in and I'm already getting the feels. Nice. Mm. Yes, it's good. You. Nice. Jay's obviously just carrying on, which is fine. The shit has hit the fan. Oh, you Every carry on. Everyone is dying. Bye. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Um, I ate um, food. I had pizza for my tea. So um, I ate food and then watched one of Becca's old vlogs. I'm making my way through my ancient watch list. So I've just done a cheeky tweet saying, if you see me commenting on videos from months ago, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a thing that I'm doing um so I just went back through the my watch list and commented on the all the videos I forgot to comment on the time that I actually watched them and then commented on that one from Becca so I've no doubt I might get a text in a bit going <laughs> excuse you um but yeah that's what I did I didn't read a damn thing so <laughs> I can't read when I'm eating mm. I don't know if that's a general thing but I really struggle to read when I'm eating same. I can have snacks. I can have like crisps and chocolate. Yeah. But a meal, I have to be watching something. Yeah. Thank you very much. Also, yes, Maddie's just uploaded whatever a thon's FAQ. Oh. So I'll be watching you, that when my tea arrives. Yeah. yeah. If any of you have questions in the next sprint, you can go check that out. It's the perfect time to do so. Mm -hmm. Nice. I really, really, really want to pick up the fifth season like immediately mm -hmm. I want to pick up all the books now and this is an issue that I'm struggling with mm -hmm. but it's an issue that Ashley's clearly struggling with but <laughs> it's an issue I'm having I just don't know good night Bish um I don't know what to do about it don't follow my uh lead <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I got to a point where I actually couldn't read multiple books anymore. I was reading like one book at a time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how that happened because I used to be a person that could read like four books at, at one time. It wouldn't bother me, but I just can't seem to do it. Now, this is blowing my mind. I mean, it helps that they're entirely different. So that's really working out for me because this is breaking this up nicely. But yeah. I don't know. Are you still enjoying Night Shadow, Ashley? I am. I think it's funny because like, <laughs> you could say perky. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, like you guys, I've seen you reading it, and you're just like, oh, it's gonna hurt so much, everything. And I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna feel that invested, but now that I'm listening to it, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I love that though. I love that by listening to it, it's given because I think Joe does a great job of giving each of the characters personalities. Mm -hmm. So the way they all have their very own different accents as well, and even as you go further into the books, I haven't told Jade this yet, but as you get further into the books, in the last one there's a lot more characters and you get, you've got a Scouser, you've got a Geordie, you've got a just so many different accents. And I don't know how, Joe is obviously very talented with his accents, but a phenomenal, just That's one of the best. Just like how he, like, they'll all be having a conversation this time with them. They've all got completely different accents and he's just like popping off and between all of them. And I'm like, mm. I can't even do my own accent. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly <laughs> Honestly, phenomenal. He's definitely one of my favourite narrators. 
Mm -hmm. Now, now, folks, we know Joe is good, but let's not completely ignore that it's a greatly written book, too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's one of those things, Ross, like, I think when I was reading it myself, things like the humour in the voice that I was giving it, just the tone wasn't right, which is why I'm just like, okay, this makes a difference for me, because I can now imagine, like, actual men talking <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah whereas before i'm just like i couldn't picture them as well yeah that's fair you have that thing though don't you? you've done a video on this before where you actually struggle to imagine things in your head so maybe that audio really does help you with that immensely mm -hmm. um which i'm really glad about because i know i'm you were, like, so pleased that you're enjoying <laughs> it like Same. I find it so funny how like I wasn't I wasn't not bothered but like I was just kind of like okay I'm just reading about people and then like my love for Kess just went <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm excited I think I'm gonna try and read it next month I know I shouldn't be adding like big books to for whatever you want a thon but like I really want to read it Bonus points because it's one of my faves. Yeah, that's another reason why I was gonna read it yeah because I was like extra points yeah. and it's fantasy so it is it is yeah. yeah and it's fast as well I think that it's really fast paced yeah. like once you get going with it it just flies mm -hmm. Ashley's reading Night Shadow which she has just put in her name <laughs> <laughs> which is my favourite book ever it is it is and it's my favourite of the series as well so similarly it's my favourite book of the year to date because that's my favourite series of the year to date so you know we can Ooh. all be in Jade exciting yes <laughs> we do <laughs> Pterodactyl is it pterodactyl? Did we get it right? It's the you can call it what you want. <laughs> Kest is the best, and it rhymes. How did like Kest more than Falcio? No, Falcio is oh, just different because I haven't read the first ones. So. I like them. Yeah, I like them both. I do. I love also Kest. love Brasty though. Like yes, yeah. he's an I idiot, think... but we love him. Yeah. yeah. I think my favourite thing throughout the entire series is Kest telling Brasty to constantly shut up. And because it's done in a Scottish accent, it's just fantastic him saying, shut up, Brasty, constantly. I just fucking love it. Like, I just, I don't know. It's just phenomenal. I was going to say something and now I can't. Oh, Kest. Kest and Brasty. If you try and say Falcio, Kest and Brasty, does anyone else struggle with that and want to say Falcio, Kest and Brasty? <laughs> what does that just make? I haven't tried, but God knows Falcio what. Falcio, Cast and Bresty. No, it's okay for every me. Time. Every time I want to say Falcio, Cast and Bresty, it just flows. I... <laughs> Bresty. I don't know. Be on your mind. I know. <laughs> no, there was um, one scene I've just read, like, Cast in that one scene I've just read. I'm like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not even for, like, nothing particularly big happened, but I was just like, yeah, I did love him at the end of the first book. I was like, yes, bitch. Yes. <laughs> He's such a legend. I just love it so much. Look at Jay. She's so happy. She was everyone was dying in her book five minutes ago, and now she's just like, let's talk about the great coats. I'm so happy we're all enjoying it for Jade as well, especially when like this series that I haven't enjoyed, like. True of which I haven't enjoyed that much, but like this one though. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't care if you don't enjoy Truth Witch. If you don't enjoy Great Coats, we can't be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Similarly, like I don't really care. Like, if you didn't enjoy Spell Slinger, I would be a little hurt, but we could still be friends. If you don't enjoy Great Coats, like there's seriously something fundamentally wrong with our relationship and it cannot continue. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is Cody's blanket behind her a book page? Yes. It was from Alcrate. It's got ravens on it. It's a po poem. Cute. I think it's the, it's the raven, obviously. Nice. Um, I would love to say, I mean, it's a Scottish accent. The narrator is not Scottish, but yes. Just to uh, cover that up. Um, now I want to read Night Shadow. I mean... Only if Red Traitor's Blade first, I wouldn't go into Night Shadow. 
not yeah, having the traitor's place. It's the second book. Yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. I love Jade Hug and her book. It's the love for the book she's reading, but also the love, love for the books we're talking about. Yeah, I just... I love that there's like the sun glow as well and it's just like really Yeah, I'm quite grateful that you can see like this part of my blind is just covering my eyes, otherwise I would be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, a scene. Oh, oh dear. Which one? Yeah, which one? Can you tell us without spoiling it? I mean, the whole thing is meant to be like pretty grim. I mean, as you get further into the series, it gets Falcio's wife. I get um, it, but it's yeah. very much supposed to be like yeah. That. Triggers for obviously sexual assault and things like that. So do be careful going into it. It's meant to be grim, dark. So know that going in. It's not. It's not pleasant. No, mm. it's not. It's fun, but it's also really, really grim. So beware of that going in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. This isn't set in like the UK. <laughs> it's a completely no. fantasy world. He just happens to have a Scottish yeah. <laughs> I say yeah, it was yeah. the sexual assault. I get why people would be uncomfortable with yeah. it. Fair. But yeah, it's very much supposed to be that way. Mm hmm Oh, I'm not doing it on purpose, John. John, I'm just clicking on the because we're discussing it at the moment. I'm just clicking on the comments that are chatting about great coats. My apologies, I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, because I can't click on all the comments. There's so many of you here, and we'll never get any reading done otherwise. <laughs> A lot of people is that I don't like how um Gary is narrated. Like I just don't think that female voice quite works in <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but yeah i can't wait to listen to them when i do my reread i'm gonna listen because i haven't i've read them all physically and so many people have loved the audiobook i need to get in on that it's so good oh, i love it so much so many people are doing traitor's blade for whatever i thought yay i mean one i'm glad because it's my favorite two i'm gonna assume you're on team epic and high so no. yeah thank you it's not that it's more adult fantasy it is adult it's, fantasy it's adult there's nothing yeah. YA about it no it's, it's like if there was a scale of adult fantasy it would be on the upper end of the scale but it's not complicated i will say that you, yes you don't have like a long yeah, it's not complicated and dense but mm. it's adult Yes. Yeah, the, the subject matters and stuff are very adult. Uh, we're talking about the Great Coat series by Sebastian de Castell. The My favourite book, book of all time! Yeah, the book that Ashley's reading is book three in the series. The first one is The Traitor's, uh, Traitor's Blade. I was going to say Traitor's Coat because I was reading The Great Coats at the same time mm -hmm. on Dems. <laughs> I was actually thinking of being on your team anyway, Jade. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yay. Yeah. I didn't love Spellslinger, but I only read the first one. I gave it four stars. I didn't love it as much as The Great Coats, but I still think I'm going to enjoy it. I can appreciate that. They're, um, I was going to say they're very different in tone. They're not. It's very much Seb's tone. Yes. Mm, stop calling him Seb. It's very much his tone, but it's way more YA. Yeah, this is probably why I. Because it's YA. <laughs> It's one of those where I'm like, I don't even know what it's about, but I just look at it and I'm like, mm, not too bothered about that one. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, but Ferrius. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting into that one a bit more. Oh, I also managed to get a red sprayed edges of Traitor's Blade, and I'm really excited. You mean Spellslinger? Spellslinger. <laughs> a red sprayed edge is a spell singer so now i have a complete set which is exciting um john's wondering which would be traitor's blade yeah traitor's blade it's not this big <laughs> no <laughs> no alarmed, it's like not even that like yeah big it's tiny <laughs> it's much smaller yeah but traitor's blade 
one, we still don't know if it's Play of Shadows or Our Lady of Blades. They still haven't confirmed that. They will on July. I know this. July is when we will find out. <laughs> Very is the answer for whichever one it is we get. <laughs> Immensely. It doesn't matter. Bear in mind, Argosi isn't finished yet. You've only got the first book of the duology, whereas all of Spellslinger is done, but it doesn't really matter. There you go. Don't feel bad, because not everybody likes the same books. That's absolutely yeah. fine. You yeah. Know? Not everybody likes the same books. Bloody boring if we all liked the same stuff and disliked the same stuff, wouldn't it? Yeah. So many, um, I didn't mean to click on that comment, I'll come back to it. Um, so much repping. I've not seen a single blue heart yet. Where are you all? <laughs> People, what is wrong with you? Green, green, black and orange so far. <laughs> team Epic and High. I have already said though, if I wasn't one of the hosts, I would probably be on Team Epic and High because that's what I'm reading the most of at the moment. Yeah. Um, so it would make sense for me to do that, despite the fact that contemporary is deemed my um, favourite genre. Mm -hmm. I've read a lot of contemporary recently, so oh here I we go. Epic and high, it'd probably still be epic and high, but also agree <laughs> Ashley's team though, because I do like my speculative, weird fantasy stuff too. Yeah, I'm basically using my own team to be like all the retellings because they're not typically like fantasy enough to be like epic and high <laughs> so it's just mm. like we'll just add a little bit of something yeah yeah you got some <laughs> i love dem's comment i'm in middle grade monics but i'm gonna give you a little blue heart <laughs> like they're there stuff have a blue heart there's another one here as well <laughs> just wanted to see some count contemporary rap <laughs> some more camp contemporary thank you i'm so glad that there are some of you here i was stressed for a moment that we didn't have anybody in camp and camp come to perth or kirka yeah. <laughs> yeah, um they're not related so it doesn't matter depends what you want if you want dark adult gruesome violence go great coat if you want weird fun magic spells like that there you go. I mean, some... squirrel cats. If you want a sassy, aggressive squirrel cat that will eat your eyeballs or chew off your ears, that's like There you go. My two genres: fantasy or historical mystery. Would this kind of cover your team, Ashley, or not? I'm confused. Like where oh, the story would be chaos, wouldn't it? Chaos, comedy. Is it where it would go. Hmm. The Fair. thing is, my team is just entirely open to interpretation because it's like we could just adopt everything if we wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Much. I have no idea how everyone's been able to choose their teams. Probably on the basis that they read more of that genre generally, um, mm -hmm. or they've just picked a team that they like the um, co-hosts of. <laughs> which is also fine um but yeah it's i can't imagine that it's an easy decision i'm glad i didn't necessarily have to make a decision yeah, none of us had to make it <laughs> it's like um, i haven't chosen a team yet it's hard to choose yeah that's fair Does Traitor's Blade or Spellslinger have mental health or disability rep in them? Spells, uh, Traitor's Blade definitely does. Um, PTSD and there is a disability at some point as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, there is. yes. Spellslinger, disability rep, yes. Mm -hmm. Not too sure about mental health off the top of my head. Probably PTSD again at some point because Helen goes through some shit yeah oh yes and yes yes <laughs> there's another thing i don't want to say what because spoiler but... <laughs> so in answer to the question all the books yes <laughs> <laughs> um okay shall we sprint again 
before we get distracted again by like a bazillion comments. Yes? Cool. I'm excited to carry on. I'm excited for you. How many pages have you got left? Bless you. How many pages have you got left? I'm on page 505 now. Nice. So, like 70. A couple more sprints. Yeah, you got this. You'll nail it. I'm excited to see what you think of it, like at the end. Because if you love it as much as Ashley did, then I've got to read it. Like, it's up. <laughs> what rating did you give it, Ashley? Was it a five star for you? I'm excited. When I was like 30 pages in, I did say this has five star potential. (laughs) (laughs) I can't keep putting chunky books on next one's TBR though, can I? I It's another one which is a really good audiobook. Ah, that helps. That helps. That's not it. Reading it physically, I wouldn't know. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Let's sprint for 45 minutes. Go. I'm gonna go make. <laughs>
Hello, hello. Hello. We has a Becca back. How are we all doing? I, just to let you know, I'm on the fence about thinking about whether or not to DNF this. Oh. Did it escalate quickly? <laughs> um, I just, I'm on page 122. So I've managed to read like a decent amount, but I just, I was really hoping that the things that I wasn't fully liking about it would pass and it would get better. But I really dislike the main character, Noah. Um, they're very, oh, I don't know. I just don't really like it. It's really whiny and I just feel like the pacing's off as well. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I might do. Um, how did you all do? I read nothing. Well, I read a little bit, but then I mostly just ate. Nice. I ate and watched two episodes of New Girl. Nice. 50 pages and also ate. <laughs> nice. Intense battle scene. I'm still yeah. reading. No problemo. Mm. Let's have a see who... Who? What? Everyone else is getting you on know with. What, um, happened to me while I was eating, but I've come back looking like a scarecrow. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you ever lie down? <laughs> Not really. You just got really into it and was just like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I do feel like that when I watch New Girl with like Nick and Schmidt and Winston. Just like, <laughs> attractive, attractive men. Lots and lots of pages being read. I feel like I was going to ask something then, but now I've forgotten what it was, which is really helpful. Um, oh, I wasn't going to ask something. I was going to let everybody know that Leanne won't be coming back. She's going to spend the rest of the evening with Helen. So she, I just thought I would let you all know she won't be coming back. So, uh, But she had a good time nonetheless. So. Uh, you need to read Tin by Candace. Robinson? Interesting. I don't know how I would feel about Wizard of Oz retelling, because I'm not a massive fan of Wizard of Oz. I love Wizard of Oz, but I also have a lot of childhood nostalgia, so I'm not sure if I could. Fair. <laughs> I am considering. Goodbye, thank you for being here. Hello, Tony. Um, I hope you're enjoying. It jumped. God damn. The tree has played. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, been running some errands, came back five hours later. We still <laughs> here. Honestly, it's a good job I'm like sat on the end of my bed, otherwise I'd have been like, I'm sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so many times by now. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy as well. I've got a lot of reading to do because I want to finish this book by tomorrow and I'm not sure how many pages it is. Um, I'm reading the ebook and on my phone it says 383 pages, but I don't know whether that's like phone pages. And then on my Kindle it just says locations. Fair. I was thinking of starting Meek You Diary today. I feel really bad because it sounds great. I don't know if it's me, just because I'm may maybe I'm just not feeling the YA contemporary anymore or what, but I'm just really struggling. Noah's like a very, you know, um it's fake dating. So he's very much in the thing of, oh yeah, just wait until this person falls in love with me, blah, blah, blah. They're guaranteed to fall in love with me. And it goes on and on and on. And I'm like, okay, we get the point. You think they're going to fall in love with you. And I'm like, do you have to keep repeating yourself? I don't know. Maybe I'm still in my weird little JD gremlin phase as well, though, of just being difficult today because of yesterday. <laughs> I love that every time you talk about it, Kitty's like doing effort. <laughs> <laughs> Once you are possessed by the gremlin, the gremlin never leaves. I know. It's horrible. I don't know if you can hear me brushing my hair, but I hope not, because it's like really noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds painful. <laughs> it does. That's it's just because you practically just don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, when I wash my hair, I don't brush it for about three days because I don't need to, but then it gets to the scarecrow point and I'm like, no, I actually need to do it now. <laughs> What I do is stick a scarf over it so no one can tell. <laughs> Mine maps. It maps at the back of my neck if I like don't brush it at all. So. Tibbs is trying to steal my fish. Oh. Your fish? Yeah, because I had a fish and chips. Oh. <laughs> I haven't finished it all. And he's like, I'm going to come cuddle you, but really I'm just trying to get closer to the fish. <laughs> In the last sprint that I did before I went for food, I was trying to do a vlog update and Hamilton had his head in my bag of Maltesers and I was like, can you not, please? <laughs> in your mind. There we go. I really loved the Malamanda and Gigantus audios. They were so good. I mean, the books in general were pretty good, but I loved the audio books. They were really good. Same. Nice. 40 minutes of hit. You definitely earned some past ghost off your face. Mm. Yeah. I did 30 minutes of hit this morning, but it didn't work very well because I just can't exercise in the morning. I'm just shit. Yeah. Oh. This doesn't She's work for everything. It depends on what it is, because I know what it is, I don't think it works. Yeah, no, I've tried. It's um, it's not working. It just gives me reading speed or location. It won't turn to pages. Do it. Pick it up. <laughs> Why does it always, like, really heavy rain this week when I'm on sprint, but only when I'm on sprint? <laughs> <laughs> I just realised I had an ASMR on and the rain on it might have been a bit loud. It, it's been raining today, but that's not the rain. That's ASMR. <laughs> Yeah, I think it, if it's the older end of YA Contemporary, I might be okay, but this is the younger end. Like, our main character is 16 years old, mm -hmm. so it's the very younger end of YA, and it certainly reads like it as well. I don't think I've tried brushing my hair when it's drying years. I wonder what happened to a dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it'll go poof like mine's gone. It's like poofier than it was, but also kind of not as poof. I don't know. <laughs> but my hair's like, it, it's kind of dead as well at the minute. So it's just, <laughs> uh, we ran over with chatting in the last one, so we, we probably won't go for another few minutes. Maybe 25 past, maybe half past. We'll see. We'll see. I want to read The Inheritance Game. It's really good. I really liked it. I don't usually like YA thrillers, but this one was so much fun. Yeah, I really need to read it. I'm so excited. I was gifted it for my birthday, I think, or Christmas, so I'm really excited to try it. It's so good. It's such a quick read as well. It's, nice. fun. it's a little bit obvious, but the angst, though. There's, like, the bad guy and the good guy and their mm -hmm. brothers. It just the... The uh, blurb of it reminds me of Knives Out. Yeah, I Knives Out vibes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it has more like puzzles and things as well, rather than Knives Out. That's good. Cool. I'm excited because I really loved Knives Out. Yeah, Knives Out's great. I'm so excited for season two. Well, the next movie that's coming out. Yeah, I'm hyped. Um... I don't know. I mean, usually it's because I'm listening to the audio at the same time and I listen way faster than I physically read. But this is also a YA contemporary that reads just dead fast anyway. So, I'm I just, yeah, I'm reading. <laughs> yeah. I'm reading fantasy romance. So the Brighton's pretty fast. Yeah. I just read pretty quickly in general. <laughs> <laughs> I do though. I've noticed like I actually read like quite quickly. Do I, do I retain everything? No. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one that dislikes Noah because I was feeling really bad about it. Uh, did you read Good Girl Bad Blood? Yeah, I didn't like it as much as the first one, but the first one is so good. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna have to check this out, definitely. I'm wondering if it'll be Agatha all along for this one too. So when they cast her, I was like, oh, is she gonna be the murderer though? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
place. I'm in the middle of Well of Ascension and I can't shake the feeling that someone dies soon. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so excited to pick up Hero of Ages at the end of the month. Fantastic. Excited. I am hyped. Do you want to go again for 45 minutes? I love how Jade at this point is literally just like, I'm just going to continue. I didn't stop. Do what you want. Just <laughs> <laughs> My husband, oh, God damn it, it jumped. My husband doesn't understand live stream, so he asked if I was going to go live and he would be up on the screen. As well. <laughs> Jade's face makes me want to pick up Master of Sorrows. I want it, but like I have so much fantasy I already have that I want to read, you know? You know? Yeah. You know? You know? You know? Okay, let's restart this and let's do another sprint. Let's go.
Hello. 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 How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. Yes. Did you finish your book, Dave? Hey. Did you enjoy it, Dave? Have you run it through Core Pal, Dave? What did it get, Dave? Yeah, Dave. <laughs> It got five stars. Yay! Yeah. Success. <laughs> that epilogue has just made my brain fizz. Mm -hmm. oh, I need to read it. <laughs> I need to read it immediately. Nice. Success, Ashley. Good job. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love this view. Ashley, how are you enjoying Night Shredder? Pretty much the same as before. She's getting very intense. Yes. I don't think you'll be too far off the scene. The pain. Mm. It's hard to tell if there's like a can see where the story is going, so I'm like why would that happen? <laughs> yeah. I mean, possibly, because we're not in a good place. <laughs> Are we ever in a good place? I mean... The thing is, we were in a bad place before, like in the last sprint, we were in a bad place, but there was like a kind of cute resolution. <laughs> I was like, oh. Nice. It's like, oh, now we're just in a bad place. But... <laughs> yeah. Cody, how are you getting on? Same, just emotions. <laughs> nice. Nice. Becca? Um, I read 7%, which possibly translates to about 26 pages, but I feel like I'm reading quickly, so I'm confused. Fair. But I am reading it carefully as well, so there is that. Nice. I did decide to DNF meet cute diary um after 10 minutes of deliberation on camera so i did like a 10 minute update and then decided to pick up this instead which is accidentally engaged by farah heron and literally on the second page i was like this was the best decision i've made all week um so i am having a great fucking time um, i'm 28 pages in and it's adult romance and i'm having such a good fucking time i've been wanting like an, a romance to clear to you know clear my palette because i've been reading nothing but adult fantasy for several weeks back to back and i just need something to kind of mix it up a bit mm. i finally found it <laughs> so i'm having a good time so far it's really good it's hilarious and i just think it's going to get funnier and funnier and i'm really really excited yay <laughs> Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you were going to sleep, John. <laughs> he does this very often. Go to bed. It's 5.15am. <laughs> Thanking you. We have some Lord of the Rings watching going on. What are you going to pick up next, Jade? I'm going back to Tristan Strong. Nice. Are you enjoying that? It feels like you've been reading it for a long time. I started it last week. I'm 86 pages in. I'm not loving it. And I think that's why, because I keep putting it down and picking up other things instead. Yeah. I was going to say, I can tell because you've been reading it for way too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just, I just need to focus and try and get it done. But, yeah. um, not loving it. Damn. But I'm only like a tiny piece in. Like, there's a lot to go. Yeah. Um, immediately off the bat, cover that reminds you of a pride flag. I'm going to be reading Camp by L.C. Rosen. It literally has the pride flag on it. But also the middle grade monthly pick for June is me and my dad in the end of the rainbow. And there's camp flags mm -hmm. all over the cover of that book. So just off the bat. The from top cover of itself is people in flag formation um, 
I mean, there's loads of different pride flags, so it could just be a case of looking at them all and looking at the color schemes. Yeah, the um, the what's the what's the book that came in the Luma Crate that's an urban fantasy with fairies in it? Dark and Hollow Star. Yeah, that reminds me of the bi flag, and so mm -hmm. does Winter Orbit. Although it's got green on it, which the bi flag doesn't, but it's still got like the purples and pinks and stuff. Yeah, I mean, this one's kind of a bi flag. <laughs> You can totally bend that to your will, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, for mental health rep, Stormlight, but Wicker King, because that's small. Freaky ass. Quickly. And it will work for, yeah. like, yes. for rep. Also, wouldn't um, Chloe Brown work for disability? I mean, it's chronic illness, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's many, many books. If you Google disability rep or mental health rep that you will get a ton of recommendations yeah i mean two fantasy ones i'm always banging on about assessing apprentice as mental health and master of sorrows of disabilities yeah there you go there you go not me picking up is this the second in a series why do i keep doing this it's hard with adult <laughs> romance and stuff like that because you would never expect them to be a series yeah i did this with the um uh oh fucking hell what's the book called uh the third one's called life's too short and it's just come out by abby jimenez and the third one was called the playlist oh, i can't remember what the fuck it's called but i read the second one and then realized it was part of a series and went back and read the first and was really annoyed at myself because the main character in the second book was a vital side character in the first book and her first part of the story was in the first book and I was really fucking annoyed with myself for not doing it right so if this is part of a series I'm gonna want to pick the first one up I won't carry on with this if this is part of a series oh take a hint Danny Brown works a mental health rep which may be good for me when I need to do it I haven't looked at the prompts properly yet because I only kind of worry about that when I need to actually plan my TBR because there's no point in me deciding what I'm going to read now and then book off just fucking me over so yeah, yeah. it's the same yeah Fair. I've already filmed my June TBR <laughs> nice I'm going to be filming mine soon because I'm away when it's going to go up so I need to get it filmed edited and uploaded ready to go I never DNF books because I hate leaving things unfinished. I have this as a mood, but also I hate wasting time on books I don't enjoy. So mm -hmm. I just fucking DNF because I haven't got the time to keep reading a book I'm hating. I can't physically hate read a book. Like, I just haven't got it in me. I know some people can do it, but I can't manage it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There is. I'm aiming for at least one more, but um, it depends on what the girls want to do. I'm happy to stick around for two or three more. It's up to you guys, totally. I'm good until 10pm and then I've got a fortnight to do it, so I can do two, probably. Cool. We'll probably I've aim for two. got a shit ton of reading to do. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so I've, I, like, I've got a shit ton of reading to do, so theoretically I shouldn't be going anywhere, but like, fortnight, you know? <laughs> they all nod and pretend that they know but they don't know <laughs> I just I constantly do this I nod like I know exactly what I'm saying. it's the having another priority for another hobby that you enjoy just as much like yes. that's the nodding and understanding not Fortnite I don't get that <laughs> but something else that you want to do yes <laughs> Speaking of other things that I enjoy, actually that plant that you got me, one of its leaves has just like stood straight up like this, one of the ivies. Bit concerned. Just that one, the rest are like kind of just normal, that one is just like upright. <laughs> I think I've managed to kill a cactus. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. Like the other five are like flowering and growing. Like my little button looking one's got a yellow flower on it, which is amazing. And then that one's just like crumpled in on itself and it's like caved in and shriveled. <laughs> Damn it. I um because like they're so easy to look after. And the others are the instagram for one of the plant shops the one that i haven't been to yet that looks really good near me and they have cactuses that are like this big and i'm like how old is that cactus mm -hmm. like how did you get it that big because 
I mean, we've discussed this before. I think it was in sprints when we were talking about how they grow really, really slowly. Mm. They do grow pretty slow. Mm. There's too many books out there to waste time with books. I hate. True. I can't. I don't. I can't skim read. It's not a thing that I am able to do ever with anything, and it's. I hate it. <laughs> No, because if I skim read, then my mind's wandering. Normally, if I'm not liking a book, my mind is normally already wandering, so I'm struggling to focus. So then if I can, like, skim read and don't focus, then just nothing's going to make sense. Yeah. yeah. If it's a popular one, I'll just, if I'm that asked about leaving it unfinished, I'll just go and Google what the end is. And, like, read it. <laughs> like, if I really want to know how it ends, but I can't be asked to read it, I'll just go have a look. <laughs> Or get somebody I know who did it to tell me, and then like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, leave that now. That's pretty much what I did with um, that bone criers, whatever, with you. I was like, yeah. doing nothing. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me that I own a plant and I should give it away. <laughs> You're very welcome, plant mum. <laughs> I really want my crumpled cactus to like spring back. I'm hoping it might. It might do. Mm -hmm. I have a watering schedule now. It's obscene. I also have a feeding schedule. Took me 45 minutes on Monday to water and spray all my plants. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, so I, became, I woke up at quarter past eight and thought I got really excited because I was like, oh, I'm going to get up early, get all my work done. And then I think it was half nine before I'd finished just watering plants. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. I might be careful skimming City of Brass just on the basis that you're getting a lot of information. It is very info dumpy in the beginning, but it's important. Mm -hmm. So maybe be careful. I'm going to disagree with that statement. Uh, I mean, I it was one of probably the first like more adult fantasies that I ever picked up. And it's I'm not disagreeing with the fact that it's info dumpy and there's a lot of info. There is. I'm going to disagree with being careful about skimming it. I support skim the info dump. If it's important, it comes back. Sure. Fair. Absolutely not. I mean, it depends on how far you get through the book, but no. If no, I, get I just don't even. I just remove them from Goodreads. I don't even mark them as DNF or anything. I just yeah. simply forget. Oh, they from shelf. Yeah. yeah, I have a DNF shelf, but other than that, I don't mark them towards my Goodreads goal. Oh, unless it's on my Bookopoly TBR, then I still count it as like completed the prompt for my TBR because I tried mm -hmm. it. So it doesn't like numerically count towards a goal or anything. Yeah, yeah. I'll still include it in my wrap ups and be like, I tried this, but I didn't like it. And here's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I won't put it towards a good reasonable. Same. <laughs> I just seen Daisy's comment about the aloe vera plant. It made a flower in its excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I think my little cactus has got a little over excited. I didn't know that one did flower. It's not done it before. I when I woke up this morning there was a flower on my string of hearts and I didn't know that they grew flowers and I was like I've been blessed because like if you buy plants as well they say if you treat them well they might flower do you know like just with house plants in general and I have a flower so I was like <laughs> nice oh my god <laughs> dramatic plant or what mine um mine started to shrivel at the ends and I thought that it was underwatered but it was overwatered, so then eventually it collapsed in on itself, tipped over, and like pulled soil all over my bathroom. <laughs> oh. They're very dramatic plants as they die. <laughs> I have two real plants, and honestly, I don't know how I haven't killed them yet, but I think I'm halfway there with one of them, so. <laughs> it's my big ass plant as well. I repotted it, and I just don't think it's doing very well. Uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what my end started turning black and then it just collapsed. I mean, also, I mean, yes. It's like mine has no strength to it whatsoever. I don't know what happened, but it's just really like blocky and thin. 
Just like, they're meant to be chunky so they can stand up but they're just not in any way. I won't buy an now because of yours because I look at the leaves and I'm like you look like you're going to collapse like Ashley's did <laughs> I just don't buy it It's really weird because apparently it's just like everything says oh if it's not thick at the base it's because it's not got enough light and I'm just like it's literally an extra window what do you want me to do? <laughs> How is this even physically possible? <laughs> Like confusion. Set fire to it. Presumably broke it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, because they thought it was real and then it went mouldy. Yeah. I had a plant that was murdered. I had a really nice big palm. It was called Terry. It used to be over there. It was great. Cats ate it. Just oh. Kept nipping at the end of the thing, so it was murdered. Oh, oh, nice. Cats. Set fire to it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you see it melted. This uh, question, it depends on how you're reading it. It's like if I'm reading them separately in different days, then I will count them separately. But otherwise, if I'm reading it in one go, I just count it as a whole book. But it, it depends. People do it in different ways. Do it as you please. I do. It depends how I'm reading them. So, like, if I'm reading them as they're released as individual novellas, like the um the KJ Sutton Charlie Travesty ones, I read them in separate installments. Same as they were being released, so I counted them separately. But um, if I have a bind up, even if I only read like two stories a month, I will still just keep logging it on Goodreads until I finish the bind up. This is the thing. It's like depends how I read it because it's like Bonesies and novellas. They're separate. Yes. Yeah. Blade, which has got them all in, I'd read them back to back and so it goes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been wondering this about Arcanium Unbound because that's a bunch of um, short stories that are in a one bind up for Brandon Sanderson, but you're supposed to read them at different parts. So I've been thinking about doing them separately, even though they're in one bind up, because you will read them like in different random orders throughout the book so see i've logged those on my spreadsheet as i've read them but i haven't put them on goodreads and they're not going on goodreads i've got the misborn ones left so when i've read the misborn ones i'm just going to put the whole book on as like yeah. the, the one that i keep thinking about is um the archive duology by Schwab, um, but I've got a bind up of them, but I'll probably read them, like log them separately, and then just mark the actual books that I've got on Goodreads as read, like without a date or anything, to be like, I have read that, but they're going up as two separate books on my challenge. Because <laughs> I'll read the two books separate. Um, I have no idea, but I think. Probably. I don't as far as i'm aware with maddie i don't think so because she hasn't come home this weekend from work but i'm not sure i could be wrong on that she's not scheduled anything yet as far as i'm aware so i don't know the answer to this question as yeah, far as at this point she's normally scheduled them so I don't yeah i i think as far as maddie's sunday springs are concerned the answer's probably no um so unless someone else is doing something i'm not sure there's always something someone will do something yeah it is true. Yeah, actually, I think Chloe's got some in the evening. Do you get people count the Stormlight as one or two books? We would, I assume, two. They come as two books, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mark them. I mark everything on Goodreads as I own it physically. So I own them as two books, so they're logged individually. Yeah, yeah, I think all of them have well because it's just the one, but yeah, the others I have done. Normally when I review them in videos, I say like I've given this four stars, like the first half, and then I'm like, I will revisit this discussion when I've read the second half, and then if there's a difference in the ratings, then I average them because it is one book. Yeah, I don't do that. I just read the whole thing. <laughs> it was just like I read them separately because um it makes them less intimidating. This I only normally leave like a couple of weeks in between the halves. So. Mm -hmm. This, the answer is this. <laughs> there you go. Um, shall we sprint again? Yeah. Oh, I need to change my name. I'm not reading that anymore. <laughs> it's 45 minutes to be good with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. 
for beans. Um, oh, that was, uh, you're welcome. Um, this will be the second to last sprint, so we'll have one more sprint after this one. There you go. Uh, this is very true. Um, okay. What am I doing? Why am I waving at you guys while holding my hair? Am I okay? <laughs> struggles. Uh, 45 minutes. Let's go.
Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. How did we all get on? I just killed a tiny, tiny spider. <laughs> it was running at me and I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> I read 6% of my book again, so I'm on 17% now. Nice. I'm now Hello. at the 100 page mark and the tawny man has just arrived. Mm -hmm. so I was like, not wanting to stop. So I'm excited for the next bit. <laughs> it's like, have you no greeting for me, Fitz? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I love it. Yeah. three pages for me. Nice. And the costume change because I got sick of wearing all my jewelry and dresses and all that stuff. <laughs> Fair. Dave, how's Tristan? I read about fifty pages. Girls right. <laughs> You're not enjoying that at all, are you? I'm not, but I couldn't tell you why. I'm just like, I'd rather not. You started off salty with it, though, because you didn't like one of the characters at the beginning. That mm. character's entirely disappeared. Yeah, but do you think that that's kind of given it a bit of a salty start? Because then you put the book down, and now you've come back to it. I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I feel like I should love it. Like it's that storytelling that, if you've read Percy Jackson, is the best thing I can compare it to with the like humorous chapter titles and the narrator talking to you being like, well, I did something stupid here. Well, you know, I feel like I should be enjoying it. I'm just not. That sucks. Oh dear, oh dear. Do you think, uh, is there an audio for it? Do you think the audio would make a difference? Or? I haven't found an audio for it, unless there's one on Audible, but I don't really want to spend a credit on a book that I'm not enjoying. Liking. Yeah. Fair. Um, I managed to read 48 pages of my book, and I am loving this. This is hilarious. I am obsessed. Um, so I'm on page 76 now, it's really fast paced as well. So I made the right decision, Deanna, in that last book, for sure. Oh, oh dear. I'm seeing people saying that they also didn't like Tristan Strong. Oh, dear. Tony also didn't find it gripping. Bethany didn't know why, but didn't like it. Tam also didn't care for it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. I'm down a hole of planning my whole TBR. <sighs> That's a shame, isn't it? Because I think it's sort of deemed a pretty, because it's a Rick Riordan Presents, people are expecting it to be really good. So, yeah. oh dear. Yeah, to be fair, Margot's point out you can get it on Audible and then just return it, saying that you didn't like it. I keep getting emails from Audible telling me that I need to stop doing that, so I don't really want to risk doing it again. If it's possible to gift credits on Audible, I have six, and I've <laughs> had to pause my account for three months because if I cancel it, I'll lose all my credits. If you want any of my credits and I can give them to you, then you can have some of my credits because I want to cancel my Audible subscription. <laughs> I think you can. Okay. I don't know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Can you do that? Yeah. I feel like I've seen somewhere that you can, but I've, as you can tell, I don't use Audible. I think I've used three credits. Yeah, I don't know if it's paying for it. You can, I, it might not be gift someone a credit, but I know like you could buy just a credit. credit. Yeah. You can only do that once per account, and I've already had a gift from someone before. It's, uh, not, it's not swapping, it's you literally send a book to someone. I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I, know thought, you know, I, I thought that you could only get one gift on your account. No, I think that's just if it's like, if you're sharing. I didn't give them anything back. 
No, you don't need to. You selfish person. <laughs> no, I mean, like you say, if it's because I'm sure we've had this before, stuff where you've tried to give me something and I haven't been able to accept it. Yeah, because you've already received a gift off Audible before. So a, an account can only gift uh, receive one gift ever. I think. Is it the same thing though? Because that's if, like, say, if I had a book and you wanted it, I could send it you so that we're both sharing one book. Whereas this, it's an option literally on the basket. Like, if you go on, you can choose to send it to somebody else. Oh, like you no, and not download it yourself. No, that maybe that's different then. Yeah, I know some people are saying you can buy credits for others, but that means you buy it. Buy a book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can do it, Becca, I'd take it. <laughs> it seems help. you can give, give somebody a book using one of your credits or you can give somebody a gift membership and they'll get one credit each month. So it sounds like you could gift Jade Tristan with one of your credits maybe. I've gifted them multiple times to the same person. You gift the book to the person. So is gifting them something different to sending them something? It sounds like it. So previously yeah. I tried to send you a book that I own. Yeah. So I have the book and I've tried to send it you, but because you've had that before or somebody sent you a book previously that they own well, i think it's different to someone spending one of their credits on a book that they're specifically sending you so they don't get the book you do sending it just to you okay. yeah that makes sense i'm sure that is the thing anyway because when I, I literally bought night shadow yesterday and it was one of the things you know, like gift it to somebody else <laughs> um it doesn't matter anyway because there isn't an audio book of it there isn't uh, great there's um, one of um, his other book called Last Something for the Emperor, which I've just lost it. But yeah, uh, no, Tristan's yeah. drunk. That's nice. That fucks that plan up there. Never mind. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just continue to struggle. Yeah, I finished Tristan Strong, and even though I loved to learn more about the other kinds of mythology, I didn't like the book overall, and I don't know why. Yeah, but I feel like there's there's nothing bad about it there's nothing wrong i just would rather not read it yeah oh i've just there's a two for one sale on at the minute and bridgerton book one's on it and the last time there was a two for one sale i got bridgerton book two as my free book but bridgerton book one wasn't available so i might have to um indulge nice they're being pretty consistent with these either 500 books for the price like three pound each or two for one book sales because i keep getting really good deals on them um, I think the last time it was a two for one sale, I managed to get Saints Blood and Tyrant's Throne two for one. Which was I got cool. the one that I wanted. The reason why I took advantage is because the the NK Jemison book, the New York one, what's it called? Uh, yeah, yeah, that one was on, and I've heard that the audio book's good. So it's fantastic. It is, yeah, fantastic. Uh, we'll be doing one more spring, just so that you know. I don't know if this is anything, but you can get a 30-day free trial on audiobooks.com and it is on there because the audiobook does exist in America, but just not on UK Audible. Interesting. If you can be asked to get a free trial of this random website, it does exist. Mm. At what point did Audible start sending you mails to stop returning books? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think that I returned that many. Like, I, I probably, every three months, I get a book with my credit each month. So I probably return, like, one of three. Yeah, same. And they've now started, like, literally, they sent me one mail, and I haven't returned anything since then because it scared me. And I've since then received two more of the same email. Like, I haven't returned anything else. Please stop. I laughed at you. I laughed at you when you got that email, and then I got one like the week later. I feel like I'm to myself, but like I've returned so many, and I just haven't been flagged for it at all. Yeah, same, same. But like the same happens with script. People are like, oh, I listened to two things, and it restricted me. And I'm like, I've never been restricted. Oh yeah, I'm constantly restricted on script. Constantly. <laughs> I'm only ever restricted with Robin Hobb on script. Yeah. <laughs> 
They've got quite a lot of good things in the two for one sale. They've got two of the fifth season books, at least. Is quite a few of the Bridgerton one? ones. Huh? Is the third one on there? <laughs> I think it's just the first and the second, but like when I'm clicking on the view all bit, all of the ones that are already in the list are disappearing and it's like you have four books to choose from. And it's like but like it's showing me Bridgerton and Addie LaRue here. But if I click on view all, they're not there. It's just four books that I have no in interest in. That's weird. They also have the space between worlds, Addie LaRue, Law, Air of Fire, Queen of Air and Darkness. Nice. Tristan Strong audiobook is on Canada, Canadian Audible. I wonder if someone can give you a book from a different country. Never tried. We're on the UK, so. I'm going to assume it probably wouldn't let you. Yeah. It feels like that's something it wouldn't let you do. Yeah, I feel like it's a thing of like the permissions and stuff like that. Did they say what the consequences were of returning too many books? I think it just stops giving you the option to return it. Like on your account, yeah. it just doesn't let you return anymore and for a while. You, yeah. I was into it yesterday because I. <laughs> so I cancelled my Audible thing, remembered that there's one book that I do actually want an audiobook from. So I signed back up, bought it, returned to, bought another two, and then left again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was looking into it because I was like, is this going to be it? Like, surely I've done too many like, in the past year that they're going to they're going to start getting the emails they don't stop you from returning them entirely it's just you have to contact them yeah and, it and give them a legitimate reason for why you're doing it so that they can restrict you somewhat and i'm just like i'm not i'm not contacting anybody. yeah i haven't had an email but my account does get restricted on whether or not i can return books so i have been restricted on my book returning but i have then since sent them an email and said by the way i have like five books here that i've dnf'd so I haven't finished them. I didn't like them. Can I return them? And they were absolutely fine with it. Literally mm. within five minutes, they gave me all the credits back and said, yeah, that's fine. Mm. So It's just a case of they want to check why you're doing it. So yeah. Yeah. It's just like, you have to email us to do it now. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really get, but. Yeah, I do get this. But also, if I've DNF'd the book, I would like to think that it's okay to return the book because, like, I don't know. If I yeah, did, I, mean, I only return books that I either didn't like or didn't finish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I listened to Tristan Strong and didn't think it was much better. Oh, there you go. Oh dear. My, I don't think my Audible is working very well because I've just searched for the third Bridgerton book and it apparently doesn't exist. But the ninth one does, and the first and the second do, and a prequel does. It might be if you use it on phone. I know that they don't like stuff sometimes. I wonder if it's because I put my account on hold, but then I've still got six credits to spend, so they shouldn't be taking things away from me. Like I've paid for my six credits. They don't. Anything have you tried from book two? Have you tried just clicking the author's name so you can scroll through all their books and doing it that way? I'll try that. I did try clicking on a book to see if it would show me the series. Um, yeah, because oh. now it's showing me, I've just gone to the home page and it's showing me book three, three now. Weird. All the Bridgerton audiobooks are on script apparently. Uh, fair. Don't even necessarily want the audiobooks, it's just I got the second one free, so I was like, well, I feel like I should have the first one at least. Yeah. <laughs> I think the difficulty with this is that it's the middle grade monthly pick, so. Oh. There's a discussion. I can't, DNF it. I can't just not read it. <laughs> yeah. I've not DNF any middle grade books. You, nor do you I know, I genuinely believe though, if you aren't actually enjoying it, it's fair to still DNF it, even though it's still part of your book club. Like, if you're gen you've got genuine reasons for DNFing it, you can still discuss it. I don't it. know. I don't have a reason. Well, I just don't want to read it. <laughs> fair. Okay. <laughs> Shh, 
Nobody asked you. <laughs> what an asshat. I didn't know this. And I'm really surprised because we it because of the um the fact that we're using a credit. So we've paid for the credit and we've used a credit to buy the book. I remember seeing discussion of this and it's like for some authors it is a thing, but it also depends on like the publisher and how many books they've sold and what their contract is and stuff like that. So it depends kind of. I don't yeah. know how big of a thing it is, but I, again though, I only send back books if I've DNF'd them or not enjoyed the actual book. So and I I do it because what's the point in me keeping the audio of a book I DNF'd? Like if I DNF'd the physical book, I would try and sell it or give it to a charity shop. I wouldn't keep it on my shelves. So And it's like someone else has just said it's pretty expensive as well when it's like you get this one thing. Exactly. And it's just like well, if you don't like it then Yeah. Yes. Well, Shall we do our final sprint, ladies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this, just pick up Jade City instead, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, truth has been spoken. You're doing it for doing things on though, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Aw, thanks. <laughs> um, okay. Let me reset this timer. It's just started pouring down with rain outside again. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, 45 minutes, let's go.
Yeah, well, look, for some reason, my mind completely blanked and I had no idea where the unmute button was for a split second. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Um, we have lost Becca. She's gone to go play at Fortnite. She's had her Fortnite day, so um, she has disappeared and sent me a quick text. Um, but yeah, how do we do? Good. Um, <laughs> I'm in danger because of the oh. sentence I've just ended on. I'm like, oh, here we go. Oh no! Are you at the? Are you at the part? Have you ever ever heard of something called the Great Court's Lament? I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes! <laughs> Pain is coming. Oh no. I've already read 233 pages today and I'm kind of just tempted to read the rest of it. I read the whole thing in a day because I could not stop. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I would recommend it. It's not a place to be stopping, let me tell you. I but then like is it also something to read before you sleep? Maybe not. Just a point that doesn't bother me. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> Fair. Cody, how'd you do, my love? Good. There's just, like, so many things we've been theorising about and talking about, and, like, I think we're going to get answers already to some of the stuff. Where, where are you up to? Because I actually read a chapter of that that time. Oh, chapter seven, just about to start, Heart of a Wolf. Okay. Mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> I'm up to chapter nine, so you're in a little bit behind where I am. But... Mm -hmm. You decided to swap book. Did you get sick of Tristan? I read a chapter of this and then uh -huh. thought, oh, I need to pick Tristan back up. So I played a game of Tetris. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read about two more pages of this. Okay, you are really hating that book, right? <laughs> I've fallen back into I'd rather play Tetris territory. Oh no. <laughs> it was going so well today for you as well. It was. Like, I'm still really happy with the whole Master of Sorrows thing. So it's yeah. not a bad day, it's just apparently a bad book. Fair. I managed 43 pages so I'm 118 pages into this now and again I just kind of want to carry on and finish the book <laughs> I am definitely in one of those moods um, but yeah how did everyone else do someone else is in the same spot as you Jade when Jade plays Tetris you know there's a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, even though it's middle grade monthly if you're not asked about spoilers you can still do the live show and just be like yeah it's true. Respond yeah. to what everybody else is saying and being like, oh, well, I wouldn't have expected that, or I could have seen that coming, or whatever. Yeah. 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 Good point. Yeah. Just to cover this ground again, um, Jade, it's the middle grade monthly book pick for Jade. So she'd rather not DNF it if she can help it. So, although but, Amy's yeah. just said also finding it a slog and struggling, that's more people. Yeah. Maybe should temporarily put it down and wait until Gavin picks it up and see what he thinks. Good shout. <laughs> Someone else read the Great Coast books in a single day. It's funny because it's like I spent, I put it down for a while. So it technically took me about a week and a half to read 170 pages and now I'm just like 300 in one go. <laughs> <laughs> you were in a weird mindset of I'm about 100 pages into 12 books. Yeah. So you can't blame the book there. That was definitely a you thing. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped at 100 pages and then it took me another like, I think four days to read 70 pages and then I picked up the audiobook and now I'm, now I'm here. <laughs> I'm really glad they've helped to be fair like because I, do, I didn't want you to DNF the book because I think I, I know that you're going to enjoy it but I'm just glad that that's just in general helped. I will say like it's not going to it's still not going to be a five star read for me because there's actually quite a lot of stuff that I've just seen coming and been like why didn't you all see that coming? Fair. Um, but it's going to have a much higher rate than it would have been beforehand. <laughs> Have you slept? <laughs> John, please sleep. sleep. <laughs> Twing. Mm. 
I've heard such good things about Darius the Great, is not okay? Mm. Really good things. You will get that finished, I have no doubt. Maybe you could look up a summary of the book. Maybe. Mm. You are very welcome. Skimmed the last 50 pages of Tristan because I just stopped caring. <laughs> So I've not seen one positive thing about this book so far. Yeah, I haven't. This is not good. Anything good. Yeah. I hate the thought of you like hate reading it and wasting the time doing that because you did it with um, Murder Most Unladylike. I needed to hate read that because I needed to justify my thoughts. Because that was like proper hate read. Whereas this is just, I don't, like, I'd rather not. Murder <laughs> Most Unladylike needed that attention so I could absolutely shred it. That's fair. Read the first and last paragraph of each chapter, golly good. <laughs> Plan. Hmm. I love Tristan Strong, but reading the second book now, I'm bored of that one. Oh, okay. This is the first positive thing I've seen. And even then, it's not that positive. No. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm now at the point where I'm like, I am exhausted from being on a live show all day, but then I'm just like, I only have 125 pages left. Yeah. <laughs> it's because my audiobook says I've got two hours, I think, so I'm just like, oh, nice. That won't take that long at all. Well, two hours, duh. Two hours. But <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've been on a live show for nine and a half hours. Yeah. That's the thing, I woke up at half seven, so I'm just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll go for this long without a nap. <laughs> it's really funny because I hadn't heard of Tristan Strong at all until Middle Grey Monthly announced it as a book pick. That's yeah, the first I've heard loads of good things about it, mainly I think mainly hype because it was a Rick Riordan presents. Yeah. And those seem to be quite loved, but now I've actually seen people read it. Like, oh, Tiberius. Oh my god. Your sister. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Sorry. Bella <laughs> squeal. Scared the life out of me. I thought Cody didn't move then, so she's not stepped on anyone's tail. What's going on? <laughs> no, it's Tibbs being a douche. Tiberius. <laughs> I love how you thought oh, <laughs> yeah. being a douche. I just feel bad for Bella. Like honestly, sometimes I just wish that she would bully him. <laughs> Twine bells. She's too nice. She wants to <laughs> attack him, and I'm like, but he deserves it. <laughs> uh, you are very welcome. That was the last sprint, so we will be uh, clocking off in a second. Cat fight, what the hell? Yeah, I'm sorry. My cat is the devil. I think the Tristan Strong got the buzz for the Rick Ryden presents rather than the actual book, yeah. And I feel bad saying it. I feel like I should like it. Seeing so many positive things about it because I follow Rick Ryden, so it makes sense that he only retweets positive things, yeah. Yeah. Read it when it came out. I haven't heard much about it since. Tiberius is such an awesome name. What type of kitty is he? A bad one. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just a standard standard cat, no specific breed, but he's a grey, big tomboy. Yeah. A bully is what he is. <laughs> you are very welcome. You smashed it today. You're very welcome. I haven't read it yet. I have to say, as much as I'm just like, oh my god, we've been here ages, I've accomplished a lot today. So I'm just like, yeah. Smashed it. Right around 500 pages today. Nailed it. We're catching up on the World Figure Skating Champion for the entire sprint. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ella's on the top of the cat post and he's meowing at her like play with me <laughs> he's like no you just beat the shit out of me yeah 
The tails go in like this. Like, <laughs> <they come near. laughs> Give it a bit of time, you can rewatch them if you want. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. Um, okay, so we are going to check out now because it has been a long day and um, yeah, we've been here for a while and that was the last sprint. So thank you so much for hanging out, ladies. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Of course, anytime. And we shall see you all very soon, I have no doubt. So goodbye.